Welcome everybody to Ken Seed. It's a pleasure not to be with you today. Happy New Year to everybody. We will be continuing Ken Seed now live. I feel like this is a type of game where, um, I don't know. I, there's so much to the story. There's too much to the game where I, I feel like it'd be fun to kind of like go along with it with people and interact with people and chat and 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 see everything about this game and learn everything about this game from other people as well so i think that's a good thing so how are you and hope you're all doing well it's a pleasure i want to say a special thank you real quick to a lady okami and uh lady okami lady okami how you doing lady okami and lady okami and gray wing for becoming members of the channel this morning so thank you very very much for that welcome yeah i hope you check out the members videos and members live streams uh here on the channel when you're done with today's stream or you know Whenever, I guess, whenever you want. Other than that, hope everyone had a very safe and happy New Year's 2023. Here we come. Now, uh, today we're playing Ken Seed, but there's, I went through some of the options here, and some of the options are actually kind of cool. I haven't gone through this yet. Farm Outhouse. I, like, Monster Nature Kid Basic? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but one thing I've had trouble with this series already, and this is also kind of going into why I'm kind of doing live streams right now for this game, is I've been affected by this game, kind of. Uh, three out of the four videos have been uh, copyrighted uh, due to music. Yeah, kind of sad days, very much sad days. Uh, it, it sucks. So, uh, today I went into the options, and I saw, I was like, oh, well, let me turn down the music because I'm getting copyrighted on the music. That's kind of, you know normal right even though the music is so damn good in this game but now there's a streamer mode and i didn't notice that there was a streamer mode so i've toggled this on i don't know what it will do but hopefully that will help with my woes as far as copyright issues go by the way this button is actually trolling my entire existence here on youtube kin seed kin seed kin seed kin 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 seed i need this button for every single game i play okay Right. Uh, other than that, uh, there's a lot of different things. I also went for high resolution portraits, which you can have it in the pixel or you can have it high resolution. And I kind of like that. So there's also these different kind of uh, options that you can go through in this game that I haven't checked out myself. So yeah, in world text background. Uh, no, I'm not going to uh, wait. What? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Anyways. Yeah. So that's been kind of the things that's been going on with this game so far. Anyways, <clears throat> how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing well. How you doing, Ainworth? How you doing, Jenny? How you doing, Molly? How you doing, RPG Gamer? What's going on? Hey, Elizabeth. How you doing? Hey, Claire. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Jessica. What's going on, Alexander? How you doing? Uh, <clears throat> Q, how you doing, Q? How you doing? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, Lady Okami. How you doing? Glory Stars, what's going on? Yeah. So we're going to be continuing picking up exactly where we left off in the video series. What I'm going to do after today's stream is I'm going to make a playlist, uh, put the playlist, actually, in the uh, comment section below, so if you, this is your first time seeing Kinseed and you're like really interested and you want to see the foundation of the beginning of Kinseed, I'll leave a playlist of the first few episodes that we have to kind of explain the story and everything uh, going forward. So that's what I'll do also. All right, quit talking and quit pronouncing Kinseed. Let's go. I feel like I might need to. Oh God, might need to turn up the. I don't know. I really, really, really like want to listen to the music i do but i don't want to get hit with the copyright again anyways oh god all right so we have a cat so in the last episode we did uh, i guess adopt a cat for x amount of money i think we named the cat bella too yeah we did name the cat bella we will pet bella we will also feed bella this morning what are we gonna not the rainbow mushrooms we're not feeding bella rainbow mushrooms now maybe a blueberry I don't know. Can you feed a cat a blueberry? Well, I just did. So there you go. <laughs> That's good. Hey, James, how you doing, James? Good to see you. Looks like Uncle Bill uh, has some more things going on for us. Now, in the last episode, also, we learned about the goddesses and, and all that and uh, kind of giving, what is it, the, um, not the donation. Well, I mean, the blessings or the, uh, the uh, snap of a finger and you'll figure it out. You'll get there eventually. Offerings, there you go. I got there eventually. Uh, the offerings for the uh, goddesses, and it's kind of wonky. Not not wonky, but it, you, it's hard to know what you're doing at first. But I think um, there were some generous people leaving comments on how it did and how how you're supposed to do as far as the left and right goes. So hopefully, 
I see those people again today. They can help me out with offerings if we get into offerings today, too. So, Uncle Bill says, sleep well. I dreamt I was a cow. Speaking of which, could you do some milk deliveries for me today? I will add them to your task list. Okay, milk deliveries. They say cows are cursed peoples, doomed by internally eat to internally eat grass and, got m and get milked. Oh, okay. Creepy if you think of it. Anyway, best get on. Okay, so we got to deliver some milk. That's fine. Let's talk to uh, Bill again. I worked on this farm all my life. Poured my life into soul into it, which he says I like quite often. So, um, what's happening? Someone needs to milk the family cow, so I'm going to do that. He says that often too. How are you? Do I smell bad? I think I stepped in a poop. <laughs> okay. I think I stepped in a poop. Right. Okay. <laughs> I stepped in a poop. Holly Kettle lost a rose. Uh, which is a person, not like a tea kettle. Lost the Rose of Romance in Cuckoo Wood. So there's that we need to also do. There's a lot of different side quests that we're uh, faring uh, along with, too. Here's our sibling. I can't wait until I'm old enough to leave the farm. I keep dreaming of all the places there are to explore and all the things I'll get to do when one day. But uh, we're still stuck here. How are you holding up? Wish I was more accurate with the slingshot. I could earn some decent chores money if I could hit the trees instead of the cat, the dog, passing, chickens, and the odd ground fish. Ground fish. Is that an actual fish? Ground fish? Need a nibble to satisfy my craving for nibbles. Oh. Alright. I don't like our sibling. Look. Our sibling is not. I don't like the fact that they're named sibling. I think that's that's supposed to be how it is, though. We're going to grab some berries while we're at it real quick. Here we go. Okay. So, let's see here. Let's go to our quest and actually put in, not the dropped one, let's do the delivery. Yeah, let's set that one. So, old Jacob can be found at the burial grounds. Okay. Deliver honey. Oh, that's honey. Deliver milk to Pappy Cow. Happy cow, deliver milk to uh, to hazelnut. I don't think we have honey on us right now. I think we've actually used the honey. Let me double check. Can I see? I think we've already used the honey. Yeah, we've already used the honey, I'm pretty sure. That's blueberry jam. Yeah, we used it, I think, to make the jam, maybe? But we can get more. Okay, so then let's change our quest here. Yeah. Doing good despite the bad news I received recently. Doing all right. How was your day? Oh, my lord. I, I I read that. I did read that, Ainworth, and I'm sorry to hear that. I am terribly sorry. I hope things do get better for you, though. <clears throat> Deliver the milk to Pappy Cow. We can at least do this. All right, so let's do this. Let's 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 continue with you, this. Yeah. All right, we'll go. Ooh, got to pick that up. Oh. Mm, hey, Leanne. How you doing, Leanne? Welcome to the new year. Yeah, welcome to the new year indeed. Hope you're doing well. Can't know if he knows to use a slingshot to get fruit from trees. Uh, I do not know that. Uh, I don't think I've ever gotten a slingshot yet. No, I don't have a slingshot at all, actually. Okay, let's continue. I'm assuming it's somewhere in town, right? Is where this milk needs to go. Is it summer? I, You know, I, honestly, I don't know about the seasons. I think it's spring. I think that's what the calendar is, right? Oh, yeah, it is summer. Okay, today is summer. Yeah, so, it's, yeah, it's summer. What the heck is a star? Goods market? Oh, okay. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you're right. It's, it's, uh, I thought we started out in spring. Maybe we did? Maybe, no, we didn't. There's no way we started out in spring. We started out in summer. It's kind of like Dinkum. Starting out in summer. Okay, we'll go this way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have I found Fable 1? I have not found Fable 1. I don't even know if Fable 1 actually exists. Uh, the chickens is what we're referencing there. Because last episode, we found Fable 2 and Fable 3, which I thought was incredible. Love the reference. Ooh, Grandma has a quest. Get the slingshot. If you don't have it already, you will need it later on, and you can get fruit with it. Okay, very good. Yeah, we do. I don't think we have the slingshot at all. I'm assuming you get the slingshot just by doing some of the quests, right? And then eventually you will get a slingshot? Or do you get it from somebody? Go this way, to the left. Gotta deliver the milk to Pappy Cow. Hey, Pat, how you doing, Pat? Happy New Year to you, Pat. There we go. Hey, not given, how you doing? Not Happy New Year to you, yeah. Yeah, it's 14 days for a season, I think, right? I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah, because there's like Sunday is like the goddess day. That's the day you want to do your offerings. My God, what do you want? No, oh, that was very, they're very rude. So this is where we. Okay, was it Billy or was it Tom? It was Pappy. Pappy, milk to Pappy cow. That's somebody. That's the person. Ah, oh, do wait, wait a sec. Did he not give us the milk? Did Bill not give us the milk? Excuse me, Bill. He tells us to deliver milk and you didn't give us the milk. Okay, well that is a shame. Did I need to get it from the freaking cow itself? Anyways, who is Pappy? This is Tom. Are you Pappy? You're Billy. Is Pappy inside? Oh, hello. I don't think I've talked to you. Yeah, introduced. Millie cow. Ain't you one of them adoption kids? What happened? Your mom and pa dumped you in the woods? I can see why. Okay, that was actually rude. How are you? I'm having a fine day so far. I bet you are. What's happening? Not much is happening. All right. This conversation got nowhere. Are you Pappy? You're Pat. Hey, there's a book, though. Drudia, Goddess of Orchards by May Pohl. All of the veil vale worship Drudia, goddesses of orchards. She is uh, revered as a gentle soul, full of laughter and very fair of face. Offerings to her may bless the worshiper with juicy apples and pears and sweeter berries. Offend this usually calm fay lady. You can expect worms in your fruit, sour pears, curdled milk, and even blight. It is worth speaking to local folk to find out what offering she prefers. It is widely known she has an aversion to meat and fish, so be careful. So this is kind of like, uh, it's basically telling us, like, hey, um, you know, Judia, here's pros and cons for, for offerings, I guess, for Judia, right? Is that what that is? <laughs> Slingshot is in the store for three gold, is that right? All right, well, there you go, good shout. <clears throat> I'm a little upset, I'll be honest with you. I thought Bill would have just handed us the milk and said, go get it, but I guess not. Proverb. Where mellow birds make you smile, you will find some chamomile. Chamomile? Chamomile? I know that's supposed to rhyme, right? But I'm always, I always pronounce this chamomile, right? Smile? <laughs> okay. All right, <laughs> I'm not gonna even get. I'm not even gonna fall into the to the rabbit hole of pronunciations there. But my lord, what is this? Candlewitch Cottage? I don't think I've been here. The Gardener's Friend by Marshall, the Master Gardener. Marshall. I have mastered gardening over many years, so I have very polished tips for helping you grow and germ germinate, 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 germinate. Berries and tree fruits have a two-day cycle. A bicycle, as it were. Not that I know what one of those is. Tomatoes have a three-day growth cycle and do not need watering. Collect them from the trellis. Make sure they are nice and firm by giving them a good squeeze. Then check your tomatoes. Barely, or barley, sorry, barley and wheat do not need watering. But everything else needs a sprinkle daily. Interesting. Okay. The use of fertilizer will really help create bigger, hardier, hardier? Hardier plants? Hardier plants. Uh, so grab your wooden bucket and hold your nose. Be sure to check if a crop is in season and be aware as active jinxes and curses. If nothing is growing, it is not necessarily a bug. You know, green fully, beetles, and so on. A, a hum? Okay, that, that was a weird passage. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, the dog looks fantastic in this game. It does. Hmm. Happy New Year's, Gen X. How you doing, Gen X? I was just watching The Rising 2. Oh, very good. Very good. Rising 2 is a pretty cool game. Yeah, The Rising 2 is a pretty cool game. Proverb. Checkered chub stays away from those bright summer days. See, now that kind of rhymed. <laughs> the last one didn't. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's see here. Let's see if there's anything else I can do before I run all the way back home just to get that. I can actually get the honey. We can go to the get some honey uh, from the village. We can also buy the thing, uh, the slingshot, right? We can also do that too. It's been a minute since you last got on a live stream. Well, it's good to see you, Pat. 
Did I miss a map stone? Did I miss one? Oh, no. We're going to be back at that house anyway, so... If I missed it, I'll probably get it back. I want to click on all these stones, though. Oh, God, I just slammed the door there. Discovered the homestone of the statues of the spout a lot. Is that what that said? The spout a lot? Hey, Danielle Smith, how you doing? Feeling really sick going to lurk? Oh, I hope you feel better. Hopefully it's just a quick uh, quick bug and uh, get out of here, right? Quick bug and snap out of it and get out of here, right? <clears throat> so is it this store you can buy the uh, slingshot? That's a tin shovel. Farmer's stew. That's actually kind of interesting. Tin bucket. A ball. What is this? Candy squirrel. Candy hair. Flower. What is this? A glass jar. Sleepers. Maybe I can get it at the blacksmith, though. There we go. Glass jar. There's the effing. Or the effing or the effigy. The effigy. Oh, there's a slingshot right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab the slingshot. There we go. I mean, we have quite a bit of money. The weapon of choice for menaces everywhere. Very well. And then, uh, sleeper zest. That's kind of interesting. I kind of want to buy the farmer stew. Yeah. Carrot, cabbage, and meat. Strength and arms. Cool. Nice. Okay, so we at least grabbed that. Let me go ahead and get some more honey. There should be honey, I think, somewhere up here, right? To the left. There's. Is this Fable 1? That's Fable 2. Okay, that's Fable 2. This is Fable 3, or Fable Free, and then I don't know where Fable 1 is, <laughs> but honey right here, right? There we go. So at least we got a little bit of honey, and we can take that, right? Deliver honey to Jacob. Jacob Crackle. Let's see where Jacob Crackle might be. There's Jacob Crackle down here. It's a hell of a name, I tell you. <clears throat> Hey, Lizzie, how you doing, Lizzie? Hi, Alexander, how you doing? Let's go this way. Yes. Hey, Darren, how you doing? Hey, Ambers, how you doing, Ambers? There we go. Are they at the market? This is the garden green festival thing, right? <clears throat> hey, Susie, how you doing, Susie? Oh, nothing to bid on. Oh, this is the bid. Oh, this is where the auction is. Yeah. Okay. All right. There's so much to learn about this game, too. And the thing about this game also is, like, how long it's been available, you know, for us to play. And the fact that I'm playing it for the first time on, like, full release, I feel like I've missed, like, years and years and years of this game, right? Judea has a lovely pair. Veil folk like to stand and stare. <clears throat> Go this way. Yep, all right, that way. This is actually, I think this is a new place that we haven't been either, too, so, yeah. Hey, Dania, how you doing? Happy New Year, yeah. Danaya, Dania, Dania, D. Danaya, Dania. Let's go this way. I'm just going to lurk while editing a video. Oh, very good, Gen X. Hope you're doing well. Okay, go right here. This is where we delivered old Jacob's honey. Old Jacob is, I guess, um, considered Jacob Crackle, right? Hopefully. No. Deliver honey to Jacob Crackle. Let's see. Let's talk to Jacob. Hey, Jacob. Goddesses be with you. How are you doing today? I'm full of love for our fair goddesses. What's happening? Gardening is the best way to appreciate nature's bounty. Okay. <clears throat> and then this is his stone, right? Or the house stone? Yeah, home stone. Sorry. There we go. Cool. Oh, we gotta start heading back, though. Even though the evening seems really nice. There's the offering. Or a offering, I should say. Not the offering. <clears throat> a offering. I kind of want to head back, but I also... I, this game makes you want to, like, explore, explore, explore. They did a wonderful job with this game. I tell you. I'm barely into it, right? I'm barely, like, scratching the surface, but my lord. They're doing good. Which is a reminder, if you guys want to see more of Kinsey, please make sure to hit the like button. Yeah. I would appreciate that. Kinsey would appreciate that. Hey, Amber. How you doing, Amber? Hope you're doing well. 
How you doing? Happy New Year to you all. Yeah, Happy New Year to you, Amber. Hope you're having a safe one. Good to see you. I wish I could take these people's uh, fruits. <laughs> Now, there was, like, an option. Somebody did say, um, you know, if there's a proverb over on the other side of a pond or something, you could also fish it out, which I have been kind of lurking and look at, lurking, looking at, like, these little um, ponds to see if there is, like, any proverbs hanging out and about. Maybe I could fish them out from the other side, because I believe there was one. I forgot where exactly it was, but there was one recently. Let me see. Go up into the right. Up into the right. <clears throat> Not much of a new year for me with my broken foot, but I'm sure it will get better. Hey, you follow up on that. You did get home, right? You did. You said you got home right before at Christmas, right? So that's good. Yeah, I know. Hopefully I get a clock soon. I know. I want to see. Give me, give me a nice clock. I think we came, I think in the last episode, I think, it, I can't remember if it was the last episode or the episode before, but um, one of the episodes, we figured out that our character currently right now is, I believe, 13 years old, 12 or 13 years old, because I believe that's how old our twin sibling is. Yeah. Hey, Ashley, how you doing? Happy New Year, Ashley. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's turn in. Honestly, Bill, we didn't get to do this, but, uh, you know, the, the milk and the cows and the cows and the, the cow's name is Butterscotch. I want to feed Butterscotch, Butterscotch a little bit of a blueberry. Can I do that? There's a nose. Nose goes. That's all I got for you. Bill, you failed me. You did not give me milk to deliver. I went out there looking like an idiot. How dare you? There we go. All right. Sleep until the morning. <laughs> money? Yeah, we got money for feeding the cat, I think, right? Yeah, completing three tasks. I think feeding the cat was one of them. I'm going to feed Bella again. Feed Bella uh, another blueberry. I don't know. Can cats in real life have blueberries? I don't even know. Can they have fruit? I, I don't know these answers. I, I think I need them. Hello, Bill. Let's talk to you. Nothing tastes quite as good as something you've grown yourself. In the soil, I mean. You don't want to be eating your own uh, warts. Uh, I hate that I read that. I am well, thank you. Okay, what's happening? Just about to have a bit of grub or any other small insect. Moan and Poopumba. Very good. Hello, sibling. I see Uncle Bill looking sad sometimes. I think he's remembering Aunt Rose. Wish we'd gotten to know her, don't you? It's weird that you are like nice to me one day and then like completely mean to me the other day. I'm okay, thanks. Feeling refreshed and ready to tackle the day. Like in the last episode, Dude, she was, like, at her throat. She was like, you need to get off your ass and you need to do this and that. It's like, first of all, who the hell are you? Right? Right? No, don't turn on the lantern. Hang on a sec. Let me see my, uh, let me, no, no, no. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Inventory, inventory. Tools. Lantern. We should probably put the slingshot where it needs to go. Let's put the slingshot there. Put this there. Let's put that there. Put the bucket. Is the bucket... Can you use the bucket for the milking? I can't remember. Can you do... Can you actually milk it? Cannot collect this. Okay, no. That's just for the water, right? Yeah. Do you actually need a pail to milk the cow? The only reason why I'm saying this is, like, how is this guy supposed to, like, uh, give us, like, expect us to deliver milk if we cannot uh, do the... To the others. Okay, we got a lot of letters, though, regardless. Let's see some letters. Let's read some letters, right? Letter from Lucy Arrows. Oh, I love this animation. 
Hello, I am wondering if you could help me. I'm in need of a brave and adventurous young soul, and I think you fit the bill quite nicely. Plus, you live nearby. Please meet me tonight, any time after 6 p.m. at the Henge in Northgate, not far from my house. Bring a lantern. Kind regards. Lucy Arrows. This sounds incredible. I Yeah, I want some of that. Meet Lucy at the North Gate. Hell yeah. Letter from Ash. Oh, that reminds me. Ash Ketchum's not going to be in the Pokemon anymore. Did you? Did anybody see that? Sorry. Sorry to like go off a totally different subject. But Ash Ketchum is no longer in Pokemon anymore. He's become a Pokemon master. Like, my entire life has now like changed. Anyways, hello there. <clears throat> I have a request of your company in Cuckoo Wood for an exciting venture. I will be there every day from dawn till dusk until I have cracked this most enticing of enigmas. Yours sincerely, Ash Brown. Ash Brown's Enigma. Letter from Ichabod. Hello, I was chatting with your uncle, and he is keen for you to get some work experience. I have to travel to get supplies tomorrow, so would you look after my shop for a few hours? Come by at 9 a.m., and I will show you the basics. I'll give you some brass for helping me out. Thank you, Ichabod. Um, when is this? You said tomorrow? Is tomorrow tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Good store help, man. I wonder if I could do that now. I know he says tomorrow, but I could have got that letter like three days ago. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Let's see. I kind of want to do this. Yeah. I wonder if I can do that today. Oh, there's a proverb right there, too. I saw the proverb. Hang on a sec. I, I, I got to go to the proverb. I got to go to the proverb. So, I know this is, like, down on a cliff, but I'm kind of interested. Can you actually get that? Oh, ho, ho. Who's your actual daddy? Gassy apples use. Gassy apples fills the belly. With wind most powerful and smelly. Very well. I love it. All right. GG's. Yes. I did six weeks of rehab after the foot and heel surgery. It helped a lot. Well, Ash has grown up. It's time for someone else to catch them all cans. Dude, if... I don't... I think Ash, what? Ash was like 12 years old when he started. Like, I think of like episode one, the first episode of Indigo League, right? What is he, like 12? If you go like for years, he'd be... The man would be like 30 or 40 years old by now, right? It's Fable 1! I found Fable 1! Well, good days, Fable. Let me take your egg. You chicken chaser. Oh, there's a freaking tunnel there, too, or a cave. Maybe we'll grab that honey. Hey, One Hand Media, how you doing? Good to see you. Hey, and thank you, One Hand Media, for the gifted gift uh, yesterday. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Gifted gift on Steam. Very kind of you. Speak to Ichabon. That's here, right? That's, like, down below. Yeah, this is, like, down below, I think. I can't remember what people's faces look like, though. So I'm assuming... I'm just going to go maybe to their house. I think this was their house. Ichabod's. This was their house? Yeah. Okay, There. well, there's your face right there. Okay, so this is their house. Now I got to find them out in the wild. Probably somewhere in a store or something, rather, right? You know what I hope they do? Is I hope they, like, make this new, like make a new person they have like a new series and then like that entire series is dedicated um oh there was a time i didn't know it was a time limit before 10 a.m on day 11 well all right well i know it said before but i didn't actually think it was literal about it okay well i thought i had multiple days to maybe even talk about that but no i guess not so i wonder if i'll be able to do it in tomorrow then let's see I don't think so. Okay. Let's see. Greetings to you, John Bowes. How's it faring? How are you? I'm well, thank you. What's happening? What's happening is that I have an urge for some fish. Specifically, Pond Lurker. Could you help me satisfy that? I guess I could. As long as it's not like a time thing, I'll get it eventually to you. Yeah. 
I can't wait to do more about this too. Right now we're looking for Ichabon. And they there it says that they're supposed to be in this um this region, so we'll have to see. But anyways, they should like make another series where the whole point of the next series is to uh go after like Ash now <laughs> and take down Ash since he's the greatest Pokemon master of all time. <laughs> Kinda like redo it all over again. But with a new person. Very good. <laughs> I don't know. Hey! Look at you! Look at you! Molly! Molly! Look at Molly with the gifted 10 memberships. That is very kind to you. Very kind indeed. Look at that. Shout out to James, Mad, Karen, Miss Lala, Faiths, Cody Skies, David, Queen Bees, Michelle P, and Matt. For all picking up those gifted memberships. That was very kind of you. Thank you very much, Molly. I hope you're doing good and happy New Year's to you, Molly. Very generous and very kind of you. And congratulations to the 10. And on behalf of the 10, we say thank you, Molly. Thank you, Molly. Thank you, Molly. I didn't want to go all the way down. I just want to see. Wow, there's a lot of pop ups there. Oh, there's a book. Now, I feel like I've read this book before. Let me just see here. Cough up the dough, a guide to good baking. I do want to get more baking in. Tom Bakery. Tom Baker, that's like uh, cheaper by the dozen too. <laughs> there are various types of cooking in Quill and all can be done from your friendly neighborhood stove. Quillian ovens incorporate an excellent hob and warming kin, which is what this book is about. You can create scandalous sandwiches, plump pies, and tremendous toasties. Simply pick a recipe, and if you get stuck, use the included manual, the help option at the top of the screen. I hope your pies will be as stout as oak and with a lovely crust and hot filling, or they will be withered uh, like my pride after Melanie Bapps rejected my proposal. We could have made, made such sweet breads together, I will never get to cup her cakes. What? I will have to become a master baker in order to forget her. You're right. You have to become a master baker because you have to forget about you pretending to cup her cakes. Absolutely. What the hell did I just read? Cup her cakes? Excuse me, what? Cup her cakes? I'm not familiar with the cupping of the cakes, but I'm a little interested now. Fairly interested. Hey! Oh my god! Danielle! Smith! Wow. That was a massive hit there, too. Big hit. Jesus Louise. That was very kind of you, Danielle Smith. Very kind indeed. That was incredibly, incredibly generous of you. Thank you very much, Danielle Smith. Danielle Smith and Molly coming in with a generosity. That is crazy. Shout out to Ainworth, Andrew, Deese. Can I go in here? Deese, Danielle, Nightmare Angel, April, Elizabeth, Stormy, Lady Kryptonite, Haley, Dagon, Darren, L Linzeka, Linzeka, Vanilla, Ava, Brandon, ES. Holy crap, there's so many people. Sorry, I, I apologize. There's. Ichabon or Yikabon? Yakabon? All the 20 people. That's Lucy Arrows. Oh, that's Lucy Arrows. We have to see Lucy uh, at least this evening, huh? All the people that just got the 20 people, 30 people on top of that with Molly Joe. We say thank you to Danielle Smith and say thank you to Molly Joe. Very, very kind. That was very, very generous of both of y'all. Thank you very much. Holy crap. <laughs> Doing well. How are you? And Darren with the five super chat as well. I knew a girl in college who let me cup her cakes. Fantastic super chat there. Probably my favorite one of 2023 so far. Hey. Yeah, I know. I, dang. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's happening? I am running short on ore. I would pay handsomely if you could help me uh, get a load. I would accept. Thank you very much. How are you doing today, Lucy Arrows? I'm well, thank you. What's happening? I'm just headed to the shops for supplies. Okay. I'm looking for, for for a specific person. Yeah, I am looking for a specific person. 
Oh wait, no, I'm not actually. I'm not looking for this specific person because the quest is over. Because we done did it. Well, we didn't do it, but we done failed it, right? But we can at least meet Lucy at the North Gate Henge. I don't know what the enigma is. Ash Brown requests your company in Cuckoo in search of an answer to an enigma. I guess all we have to do is go to Cuckoo Wood, right? Let's do that, yeah. I done failed Yuckabon. Yuckabon? Ekabon? Vagabon. That's a hotel, I think, actually. Maybe not. Who knows? But, we can at least go this way. I think we could do at least two quests. Lizzie, Lizzie, with the with the re up on that, I have never cupped anyone's cakes. Lizzie, I'm right there with you. I've I've never been. At least I don't think I have. Maybe I have, and I just didn't notice I cupped somebody's cakes. There's some hostess going on in here, isn't there? That was very kind of you. Big shout out to you. Can we have Ichabon slash Sleepy Hollow crossover? Ooh. <laughs> oh, Ash Brown. Ah, great to see you. I'm so glad you came. I discovered a passage in a nature book about a butterfly called... Jesus criminy, that was loud. I knew a girl in college who let me cup her cakes. I was waiting for that one. <laughs> I discovered a passage. Can we have a Nickabod slash Sleepy Hollow crossover? <laughs> hey! Molly! P.S. You had me all emotional this morning with that New Year's video, Crying Face. Congrats on surpassing your goals in 2022. We are all so proud of you. I look forward to watching your continued growth and flourishment in 2023. Cheer to you and this community. Don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> I appreciate that. That was very, very kind of you as well, Molly. Big ups. Thank you all for the support today. That's very kind of you. Happy New Year's to everyone. Absolutely big deal big deal that was incredible thank you all very much i appreciate that i appreciate that i know like it's it's it's, it's so hard because like after watching i dropped like in a very touching video this morning you know early this morning and then to live stream like i know there's a lot of things that a lot of people want to do and say and I, I'm, I'm very thankful for that thank you all very much and i read every single comment and i will continue to read every single comment um on that video so thank you all for the incredible incredible words i've read every single word that you all put on that video and it's it's absolutely touching it really is thank you all oh, great to see you i'm so glad you came i discovered a passage in a nature book about a butterfly called the silver skipper the legend says that if you throw a pear into the glowing pool by the face tree before 6 p.m then it will appear this is when you must use your jar and capture it Ah, sadly, I do not know exactly where this tree is. So if you look up to the east side of the cuckoo wood, that would be helpful. I shall be here if you need me. Here is a jar. Good luck. Okay, so glass jar. Don't leave it by the door. Um, right, so, okay. So I, I, I actually think we do have a pair. We might even have a pair on us. Do we have a pair? Yeah, we do have a pair. Okay. We have a pair. It said by the pond, right? I'll reread it just to double check because I don't want to screw it up because I only have two pairs. I mean, there's water everywhere. Let's be real here. But it's, um, I think they, they said it was like b b beside a sp specific tree? Specific tree, yeah. I'm going to keep, I'm going to look first before I just start throwing stuff. Grab all that good stuff. Pimrose. I love these little houses. They're adorable. Now that's a significant tree. I already cried. I really love watching others succeed, especially those who work their ass off. Oh, that was very kind. Thank you very much. Thank you. I do what I can do, what I can do, what I can do, when I can do. That's all I can do. Hey, Warren, how you doing? Happy New Year. Just bought this game. Way to go on your goals. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Warren. Hope you enjoy this game. Let me just see specifically, because I don't want to screw this up. Um, find and capture. Throw a pair into the glowing pool. Okay, so look for a glowing pool by the face tree. That's what we need to look for is the face tree. It's going to be a tree with a face, right? And I mean, you can't miss a glowing pool, can you? It's going to be kind of hard to do that, right? What a great start to 2023. Absolutely. Absolutely indeed. 
Now that looks pretty cool. I, I want to fish in that. There's a map stone right there. Touch on that. This is a big little area. Let me just make sure it's in this e region. Yeah, it is in this region. Okay, good. That looks like a face on a tree. I think. Possibly. Possibly. That has something on it. That only problem with that tree, though, is it didn't look like there was like a glowing pool or something around it. That's my only, um, my only take on that. Look at this. I just, like, there's a part of me that just wants to, like, live in there. Hey, Rhea. How you doing, Rhea? Happy New Year to you, Rhea. Oh, there's another map stone. One more to find. I feel like that might have been the tree back there. That was, like, the only tree that we saw that actually had something on it. But the only problem was is that it wasn't glowing. The pool next to it wasn't glowing. Maybe. Hey, Hoppy, how you doing? Just popping in to say hi. Happy New Year. And you rock. Miss reading your title this morning. Miss read reading your title this morning. I mean, oh my god. Just thanks for everything. Uh oh. <laughs> very well. Thank you very much, Hoppy. Hope you're doing well. And Happy New Year to you as well. I know some people were like... What the frick? What is the video? What is this video? I feel like that's the tree. It has to be the tree, no? That has like a face kind of thing going on. How much more of this area have I not discovered? There is quite a bit of this area I have not discovered yet. Let's go down to the south. It is getting late though, so. But I have a feeling it's that right there. I mean, I do have two pairs, so I guess, I mean, really, I could maybe give it a try. I don't know if you could just throw things randomly into ponds. Like you could in, like, in Harvest Moon and stuff. Just, like, chuck things into something. Cuckadoo-doo. Cuckadoo? Cuckadoo? Cuckadoo. Cuckadoo. Also get this while we're here, too. There we go. Home stone. And then we'll start heading. We'll start heading back home. At least this is not like a time trial quest, where I, I, I can take my time and do this. It's all like a tombstone off to the right. Can I actually go out this way? To the right, possibly. I don't know. I still want to. I still want to like explore because there is like. If you do like pass out in this game, I don't think there's really much of a penalty in this game for passing out. At least not at this stage. So I'm kind of tempted to like stay out until I pass out type thing. Blood few. Ooh, proverb right there. See, now look at that. Let's get that going, shall we? Give me that. Thank you. Elders bury location one beyond the henge where dryads roam. Elderberries make their home. Sure, dude. Oh, it's on the east side? Is that what she said? She said it's on the east side. Western, Western girls or Western boys or, you know, you know how it is. I wonder if it's in southeast or far east. Time flies when you have fun under every morning sun. Aw. Let's see. Ooh, is that another blood few? That is another blood few. Now, the blood few is actually very, very useful. And some of the ingredients that we're learning too. Feeling sleeping. Sleepy. Do it for science is basically where I'm at. But even off to the east here, I don't see any um any face trees. And not even a glowing pond either. Unless it happens at nighttime. 
That's it. No? That's a tr face. That has to be it. No? I can't tell. There's a face on that tree. And there's this and that. This has to be it. Um... That was not it. I put the pear in the pond with the face and the tree. I don't think that was it because that doesn't consider. That's not. Oh! Okay. Right. Well, can't say we didn't try. It looked like a face to me. They need to be more specific. How many freaking trees have faces around here? not very, you know, it's not, it's not a normal thing. Anyways, feed Bella a blueberry. Pet Bella as well. There we go. Okay, feed the cat and all that good stuff. Is on the stream. How are you? Z oh, Z on the stream. How you doing, Z on the stream? Happy New Year's to you. Hope you're doing good. Yeah. Hope you're doing good as well. Had this letter left slip. Had this letter left slipped under the door for you. By the state of that writing, I expect it's the strange lad from the nook. Gotta get on with preparing for summer tide, so do whatever you want today. I am looking forward to seeing who the Herald is in or in this time. Did I say Herald? Dear pal, great news. Mr. Fairweather wants to meet you. He asked me all about you. He said if I bring you to him, you can see if there's anything you want. Meet me outside your house at midnight, end of day 14, after summer tide. Mr. Fairweather says, don't worry about waking up. The dream is the door. Your new pal, Twig. Okay, so day 14, summer, midnight, be here. Nothing tastes quite as good as something you've grown yourself. Yeah, we know about that. What's happening? A bit hungry, so going to sort that out in the customary way. All right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Want to hear about the dream I had? It's a bit fuzzy now, but I was walking through the woods and this voice kept telling, talking to me. I think it said I was going to live forever. Isn't that silly? It's very silly. I don't even want to hear the rest of that because I think it's kind of silly. <laughs> hey, at least we got another pair. There we go. Has to be done before 6 p.m. Is that what it is? So maybe it's that tree, but has to be done exactly before 6 p.m. Is that what it needs to be? There we go. Let's head back to that spot, shall we? Let's go investigate even more. Let me grab that, though. Is today the day 14th? What is it today? 12th. Okay, so that's in a couple of days. Silver Skipper. A Silver Skipper. Sounds like a... A jokester on a boat ride. I'm your skipper today. They call me Silver Skipper. It's actually kind of a dope name, to be honest. Let's see, so if we do it before 6 p.m. Let's try. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a map stone. Sick, dude. Got that done. <clears throat> this would definitely be way before 6 p.m. too. At least the time that we're on now. I will say, this is the only game I've ever played where I had to hit, like, F1 so many times. Such an odd key. So, I wonder if that's the... That must be the... Um, that must be... Oh, God. Hello. That must be... I'm not going to even talk to you because there's so much going on right now. That must be the um, the right tree, then. And we were just too late. So I'm going to go off to the east here. Once again. And do it. Let's see. Let's let's see what this tree is all about. Hey Tech Gaming. How you doing? Can you buy a milk pail in this game? Or do you get a milk pail? Eventually through quests. Does Bill give you a milk pail? I thought maybe that's what we could use for the bucket, but I thought we've we've gotten milk before in the past, but maybe not. Okay, here we go. 
Now, what do you all think about this? This is certainly before 6 p.m. This is a tree that ha certainly has a face. Does this have a glowing face? I don't know. You could be the judge on that, but we can at least give it a try, right? Uh-oh. I can now walk on water. You can call me Bruce Almighty. I've lost my one pair. <laughs> I have one pair left. Or is it the other tree? What a confusing little uh, quest this is, no? Throw a pair into the glowing pool by the face tree and use a jar to capture it. Dude, we don't even have the jar actually equipped in our inventory. We should probably put that jar in our inventory, right? Tin bucket. That's the tin bucket, right? That's the, uh, I think that's the, uh, the mi milk pail. Milk pail? Milk pail. Get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that. I don't think there was a penalty for passing out. I really don't. And then it doesn't say on the map, at least it doesn't say on the quest, um, whether it's west or east, right? It just says find the tree. <clears throat> it does need, need a better face and a better glowing pool. I could go to the west side to the other one that I thought had a face too and see what that one's all about. But I have a feeling it's that one back there. I don't know why that might not have worked. And it just kind of became glass and then all of a sudden we could walk on the water. I'm not really sure about what's all going there, what's all going on there. <laughs> but I have a feeling that's the tree. That is the one? Okay, well, maybe I try it again with my last pair? I guess. Right? What happens if you try to use the glass jar? Good shot, let's try it. Contain and release. I mean, I don't... Is the silver... What is it? The silver skipper, is it supposed to be like jumping out of the water or something? Hey, Lulu. How you doing, Lulu? What's going on? Hope you're doing well. Let's see. Hair. Wait, what? Hair. Wait, what? I just got... Did I just dupe my pair? I think I just duplicated my pair. What the frick just happened? I just got my pair back? <laughs> oh, no. I guess I didn't duplicate my pair. That was my pair from before. That was my pair from last night. Interesting. Yo. Hello? Pet? Good cat? Do I have to wait till evening time? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I had to come here at a specific time, I think, right? Pretty sure I had coming out at a specific time. At like 6 p.m. last night, right? This is the tree. This is the way. This is not the Mandalorian. There's a flying thing. Ah, that little thing, you think? It's so freaking hard to see that. Really? Really, game? Really? Really. 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 You gotta make it more obvious than that. That's not obvious. The, the screen is already busy with a lot of colors and a lot of pixels. You gotta be a little bit more obvious than that. That's what I have to say. That's my two cents. Like, oh, look at this tiny little gray dot too bad it wasn't a tiny little bright red dot or a tiny little yellow dot what the frick dude what the heck was that you telling me that tiny little gray dot at least if i put a pear into the pond like make a magical noise or something you gotta do better 
Now I gotta find Ash in this region. And where Ash is at, I have no idea. My god. That little tiny bug? I was thinking skipper, I was thinking like pond, I was thinking fish, dude. I was looking fish, I wasn't looking for a freaking bug. Ah, great to see you. I'm so glad you came. I discovered a passage in a nature book about a butterfly called the... Well, it, you did call it a butterfly, huh? I shouldn't have been... I shouldn't have been looking for a, a fish when you specifically said it was a butterfly. But to be fair, I don't think I've had enough coffee this morning. Now I think I have. The legend says that if you throw a pear into the glowing pool by the face tree before 6 p.m. Okay, before 6 p.m. it will appear. Yeah, butterfly, little butterfly. Sadly, I do not know exactly where this tree is. So if you look to the east side of the cuckoo wood, uh, that would be helpful. Okay, so everything that you ever needed is in the description of what this person tell you. So what I've told you, and don't listen to me, don't even watch, honestly, me. <laughs> For all those mistakes that I've just made. But to be fair, though, um, that, was a, that was a very, very... Uh, it was a very, 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 very small butterfly. And rightfully so. It is a small butterfly. It should be a small butterfly because it is a small butterfly. Give me this. Do I have to actually hand it to him? Oh, it cannot be used? Okay. Maybe I just talk to him then. Yeah. Talk to you. You found it. Amazing. The legend was true. It is so beautiful. I could stare at it all day. But finders keepers. I, I found it, so I keep it, right? You will make a great naturalist. One day... Uh, you should visit Erwin, the master. He lives in Pinehaven, where the nature is meant to be incredible. Oh, okay. All right, well, uh, I have a uh, pear in my hand. How are you? I never seem to catch big fish as the other kids. Why don't they let me join in uh, when they gossip about the bestest bait and stuff? I'm thinking of buying a pig at the auction this week. If I don't win, then at least I had fun pretending to know what I was doing. Yeah, I guess so. Have fun at an auction. Pretend to know what you're doing. It kind of sounds like a dangerous game. I'll be real with you. Not knowing what you're doing at an auction. It's like people that like do the uh, silent auctions. They don't understand the silent auction thing. And then they like get loaded up with like a bunch of items. And they have to pay for a bunch of items. Because they said, oh yeah, all I had to do was guess the amount, right? So now we want to do is meet Lucy at Northgate. So let's do that after 6 p.m. And let's not screw that one up as bad as we screwed up the uh, butterfly. Shall we? Can't promise that though. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Ashley. How you doing? Ashley. De Rocco. De Rocco. Let's see here. Okay, we're in the right region. Edward Teapot. How's it going? What's happening? I'm so run off my feet. I need a bunch of items, but I have no time to gather them. Could you help me out? I pay well. As long as it's not time trial, I'll do whatever you want for me, buddy. We'll pick that up later. Hampered. Oh, I think that's... Uh, I think we actually have that. Okay, so Northgate, right? North Henge. Sorry, North Henge, I believe. Uh, after 6 p.m., which after 6 p.m. should be coming very soon. Now, exactly what the heck is a North Henge, or what is the North Henge? I'm not sure. It has to be somewhere up north, right? It's in this region. Uh, I wonder... Whoa, no. North Gate Henge. Is this the North... This has to be the North Gate Henge. Right? I have a feeling that's what it is. When do we know it's, like, 6 p.m.? I have no idea. The, the <laughs> Somebody once told me... Yeah. That has to be the north gate. That's the only gate around here. So I think I'm going to um, just uh, hang out here, I guess, and wait for Lucy. Yeah, meet Lucy. Lucy should show up. I can hang out with Fable Free <laughs> and Fable 2. Yeah, Fable Free and Fable 2. I will give uh, Fable a strawberry. There you go. You love it. I will also pet you. Because you are the best of them all. At a Fable 1, Fable 3, and Fable 2, you are the best.
Yes, exactly. Like the time Joey got the freaking boat in the silent auction. That was hilarious. Exactly. Need the blue mountain coffee from Jamaica? I do. I do. I need something to hit me up, right? Could you keep an eye out? I seem to have lost my radish. I use in cuckoo wood. When I notice it had gone missing. Yeah, I can help you. There's a lot of tiny, like, do this task, do this task, little tiny here and there's. There's a lot of things to keep you busy, for sure. Hey, Cortex, how you doing, Cortex? So I have a feeling it's here, so I'm gonna wait for Lucy, I guess. It's now past 6 p.m.? Is that 6 p.m. about to turn over? I have a feeling, yeah. Any proverbs over here? There is a proverb. Blue fish. Blue fish, blue fish always knows their place. In mellow fields, ponds, they show their face. Okay, Dr. Seuss. Henges are stones? North gate henge. North gate henge. Okay. North gate henge. I mean, that's like north gate, but then that's not a henge. So maybe up here. Because these are north gate. This is a north gate. This is what I would say is a, a stone henge. Right? Are you Ash? Lee? You're Lucy. Yeah, exactly. Hello. We need to meet you. Are you going to the actual place? Hang on a sec. I'm going to wait for her to see where she's going. Because we're here. That's that. Northgate. Got it. It's an actual specific place. All right. Oh, excuse me. Actually, it's going down now. Oh, fuck. I, I think it's too late. I think the time is too late. Oh, my Lord. Dude, this is. I, I think she was already waiting. It's so hard to determine what time it really is. I don't know. Is it... What? I think I should have talked to her. Yeah, I think, I, I think I've now passed the time. Oh, my lord. Okay. Oh, no, it says after 6 p.m. That would be after 7 p.m. This would be after... Right? Yeah, this is after 6 p.m. No, this is it. This is the time. This is the right time. This should be it. This is the time. This is after 6 p.m., right? So she, she, she should be in here, right? Yeah, she should be here, even though I literally saw her just walk out that way. But I guess she's somewhere around here. Wow, dude. I tell you what. If I was playing this game by myself without the help from chat, I'd be lost in the freaking sauce. Yeah, this should be like 7 p.m. That should be like 8 p.m. now. This should be like 9 p.m., right? Going on 9 p.m. She should be here. Now, there is Northgate. The location Northgate, which is up here. But whenever you do the Thadaway thing, it says that she's down south. So, I don't know. So this is Northgate Vale. Maybe I just look in here. Because if I do this, she's down south now. Uh, there's a proverb there, though. There she is. Okay, so maybe that's just a bug. I don't know. I have to assume that's a bug. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, yeah. You got my letter and came. That's so great of you. I absolutely adore history and lore. For years, I have studied this henge and have not unlocked its secrets. I personally believe it was a gateway to where the Fae live. I came across an old... A uh, tome, tomb, uh, that mentioned shining a light at it. Did you try focusing your lantern beam on the hinge while I watch for any signs of magic? Perhaps try standing on the circle and turn on your lantern, then use the right stick on the gamepad or move your mouse cursor away to focus the beam. Okay. All right. It's actually kind of sick. Hmm, that doesn't seem to be it. I'll keep trying to transcribe the book and see if there are any other special requirements. Thank you for your help. Here's five brass for your trouble. Honestly, I feel like I did nothing. <laughs> That's all I got for you. I don't know, dude. Like, a little bit of weird pathing issue with the whole, like, quest and that away and this away and that away, but. 
it is what it is. Let's be honest. Even Fable 2's pathing was kind of wonky also. Like the gold trail that you would follow. What would happen if you feed the chicken with gassy apple? I don't know, but that sounds actually tempting. I think that, I think eventually in this game, uh, you, you do get a clock. An actual clock. I think later on in the game you do. You have to, like, actually progress and, uh... And get a clock. Oh. What an interesting day that was. This game needs its own wiki. Does this game have its own wiki? Does anybody know that? Let's get some strawberries in there. Okay. Bill. Let's try to have a better day. Hello there. Your siblings seemed a little... Seemed a bit maudlin earlier. Maudlin? They have gone for a walk in Northgate, uh oh, to clear the old head fog. Maybe go see what's the matter. First time they've left the farm. Always been a little uh, cold, that one. Hard working and loyal, but just a little closed. Not like you at all, really. Yeah, you know, that is that is kind of strange, considering that is the same um, sibling that tells me all the time that um, I need to get off my butt and do stuff. And now look at us, right? Now, this person has left the farm for the first time ever. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go take a look and see what's happening, right? Meet the sibling. Yeah, that's a story task. Sure, let's do that. Meet the sibling. Let me grab some other things. We do have a letter in the mail, too. Letter from Jacob. Hello, young one. I feel a bit awkward writing this, but last night I had a dream where a giant rabbit visited me. It told me all, all about you and things to come. It is summertime tomorrow, and I may get chosen to be the herald. Herald? Herald? I just wanted you to have a little gift that I keep locked up in the old ruined tower at the bottom corner of the burial grounds. You have a great future ahead of you. Jacob. What is this? Oh, a cemetery tower key? Heck yeah. All right. I don't know where that goes, but that's kind of cool. Now, wait a sec. Today is the day, right? No, tomorrow's the day. The 14th where we have to, like... It's on the 14th that we have to, like, be at our house at midnight, I think, as well. Okay. Let's go find our sibling. Let's go make sure that they're okay. Hey, Jane. How you doing, Jane? What's going on? There's so much lore in this game, it's hard to keep up. And that's probably the beauty of it, too. having like your own like like a deep lore and okay, this is it so we just need to go back to the hedge right <clears throat> there's the offerings plank from ed ed and eddie grab this mushrooms I do oh no i did not want to go inside of there but i just wanted to you know see if i could <laughs> Which I definitely can. Okay, nice. Just realized we have actually 40. 40 brass. I wonder if there's another currency other than brass. Like if there's like silver or gold. Ah, you came. I was just feeling very wistful and was thinking about our real parents. You think they are out there somewhere? Flittering around and snuggled up in a burrow somewhere? I want to leave this place as soon as I reach adulthood. I find the veil is too backwards and enclosed. I feel suffocated here. I hope you will come with me, and we can be who we want to be, and live how we want to live. And when the goddesses call for us, we will gladly go to them, and run around the fields as their children, happy and free. I best get back to the farm. Hmm. Interesting. You could stay and be a farmer the rest of your life if you want, but not me. How you doing? My family really can't cook. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> my family really can't cook. Have you got something from my bad tum? Uh, I am your family. I think. <laughs> I'm going to talk to the bees and see what I can trade with them. Okay, last time I talked to the bees, they had something to do with the birds. And then that was a very terrible discussion because then my mom joined in on that. But that's that's for another day.
Let's see here. Now, the other things that we have are basically little side quests that can actually be uh, done quite often over and over. It seems like it seems like everybody in town has like it was like same same side quests. Like I need you to do. I need you to get this. I drop this or I need you to get this. I need you to water this and so on and so on. What does this say? Grab your rod. I don't know where to actually get the pond lurker. Maybe just in any pond. Unless I hit this that away. I got my I got my rod right here. My rod's right here. Grab your rod. Grab your rod is a very personal thing to say. Search the world for the requested item. Grab your rod. <laughs> Happy New Year's to you, Jane. How you doing? Hey Amber, how you doing, Amber? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. I, you know, it's not a lot of not, not a lot that you know, you don't get a lot of grab your rods nowadays. What the heck is this? Oh, well, there's a homestone, no? Herbert Lemon. And more honey. The talk, always an awkward situation. Honestly, like, you either have the talk or you just let your kids kind of, like, figure it out themselves. <laughs> right? Like, there's only two ways around that. There's only two ways to do that. You either just tell them straight up and or show them an educational video because they're going to see one in school anyways. Uh, of course, with your parents' uh, permission. I, I guess if not, right? If you don't let them see it in school. But... You can just let them find out. And usually it's curiosity, genetics, hormones. That is a very good uh, good push forward into figuring out what does this and that. You really don't need a tutorial for it, really. You don't. kind of just comes naturally, doesn't it? Uh, there's a book in here, though. The Four Shrines by Arthur Sixpence. Throughout Quill are four shrines. The End. Fantastic. Oh, do you want more? Well, each shrine is dedicated to one of the four seasons. More? What do you think I am? An author? So, we have the Spring Shrine, Summer Shrine, Autumn Shrine, and Winter Shrine. Each shrine only opens in its corresponding season. Oh, you have to be joking. More writing required? I'm not made of quills. Within the hollowed walls are said to be six pillars, each representing our beloved. Goddesses Judia, Nadia, Morvina... Hylas, Aura, and Frail? Holy crap. It is also said that each pillar hosts challenges laid down by the goddesses for some unknown purpose. The champion of the, these challenges would surely gain great reward, though not many have the skill to try. And most people are just lazy, probably. Can I go nap now? <laughs> uh, the writing in this game is fantastic. It really is. Ooh, There's a proverb up there, though. Water, forest, or is it night? Hagtooth comes with a deadly fright. Hag's tooth. Cool. Yo, old hag, I need your tooth. I guess. <laughs> oh, it's your favorite great game. You're glad you caught a stream. Oh, that's very good. I'm glad you caught the, your... Favorite great game stream. I guess that's how you say it, right? Yeah. So it's grab your rod and cup your cakes in this game. Yeah, basically, grab your rod and cup your cakes. Everybody, let's all do it at the same time. One, two, three. <laughs> Where are your hands now? This is probably going to be another... Boots Winter is probably going to be another fetch quest, right? Blessings on you. What's happening? I'm so run off my feet. I need a bunch of items, but I have no time. This is basically... A bunch of these um, quests are really here to help you with relationships and things like that. I see. Pond Lurker is found on the Veil during daytime. The Veil. The Veil. The Veil. The Veil. The Veil. The Veil. Date spots. That sounds kind of spicy. The Veil. Holy crap. What in the mother of the Lord is this? The Veil? The Veil? The Veil. 
the veil. Yo, this map is actually kind of cool. The veil. I don't know what the veil is. I saw the start of this game. Now you've come a long way. <laughs> we have so many Ambers in the channel these days. Welcome to all the Ambers out there, right? <laughs> Big shout to all the Ambers. You know what? I kind of want to do a little bit of fishing, though. My mom's name is Amber, too. Every, so, so every time I feel, every time I say Amber, I feel like I'm doing a naughty duty here. I feel like I'm being naughty because I'm saying my mom's real name. Like, because that's, that's not, that's called like disrespect where I'm from. <laughs> I don't call my mother by her first name. I call her mom and please don't get the spoon. That's what I call her. At least that's what I used to call her. We're very familiar with the, f uh, uh, yeah, this. There's a pond lurker. <laughs> There's your freaking, uh, freaking veil right there. I don't know. But hey, we got that, right? So that means we can uh, grab our rod and go to John Bowes. No? Can we go to John Bowes? Oh, there we go. John Bowes. Hey, Barb. How you doing, Barb? Sounds like a fun start to the new year. Oh, baby. Fun cakes and grabbing rods. Cupcakes. Cup your cakes. That's going to be like a snack I create in the future. And it's going to go up against uh, Hostess. And it's going to be funded by Little Debbie's. Is Little Debbie's Hostess or Hostess? They're not like... Hostess isn't like a parent company to Little Debbie's, is it? I don't think so. Amber is a beautiful name, but I might be biased though. <laughs> the color is beautiful too as well. The gem... Looking for a John. I'm looking for a John. Because he told me to grab my rod and give him a pond lurker. There's your pond lurker, my good man. Hooray! Money, 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 money. Very good. Good job. The veal. Oh, Vicky veal? Veal? The Vicky veal? Veal or veil? Holy crap. What the heck is the Vicky Veil? Oh, the Veil. I see. The Veil. I see. It's under... It's under the name. Okay, I see. I see. I see. So a Veil is a... I guess you could say a Veil is a region. So it doesn't really matter if you go this or that way. Or in this named location. It's the... Oh, God. It's the Veil overall. I did not mean to actually hook on to uh, somebody's house. I see now. about the fact my mom's name is Karen for all Karens out there my mom is not that Karen I think that's just like a culturally adopted name that damn it nobody saw coming if they were born like especially in like the 70s and 80s they never thought frick 21st century is gonna hit me with this meme they probably had no idea memes were coming and then meme came and then damn it damn it damn it damn it <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there we go. I should put my rod away, though. And get all the fruits that I can. I could even actually probably get a pond lurker through the pond here at the uh, homestead. Yeah, I could have probably got one here. Let's actually do a little bit more fishing here. Catch them with precipitation? Rainfish? Oh, it was rainfish. Oh, 
Oh, I've done enough that one up. Pond lurker, there you go. They have, would have been a pond lurker there too. Get him. The fishing's not too bad in this game. I, I will say, I've played a, other games that is so much harder, right? But in this game, not too bad. Rainfish. One more fish left in the pond. Come on, buddy. This one seems a little bit of a frisky one, yeah? Come on. Got you. What are you? A weed skimmer. Excuse me? What a fantastic name. All right. Hello, Bill. Uh, I've worked on this farm for my whole life. Yeah, yeah, we, we know about all that. Just about to have a bit of grub. Okay, how are you feeling today? I am having a fine day so far. All right, good, Bill. I'm glad you're having a good day. Hey, at least we can at least, like, properly go to bed tonight. Let's do that. Wake up at 6 a.m. There we go. Amber is my eldest dog's name. Oh, okay. Merch, need to cut my cakes? I love it. Love the idea. <laughs> pajamas. Like that, F me sideways and cut my cakes? Perfect pajama set. Come on, wake up! Big day today! All veil cheer! Summertime is here! Summertide is here. Blessings, blessings be on you this great day. Every ten years we gather on the green and make offerings to our beloved Drudia. Come! It is time to keep our appointment with the wood fellow. Excuse me, what? With the wood fellow? Oh my god, that's the wood fellow. Okay, that's what you call him? The high priest says, welcome, good folk of the Vale. Summertime tide is here. This glorious day is when Drudia, goddess of the Vale, stands above all others and opens her arms to our humble offerings. The day we celebrate the end of the season of the sun and ask for blessings so that we can taste the fruitful harvest. Hail the queen of the orchard. As Drudia watches over us, her love will bring growth. We'll stay stave off hunger. It will protect us from disease and from the cold winters to come. Now, let us speak the summer tide prayer. O goddesses of the orchards, the tide of summer fades. Bestow your fruits on we who offer our thanks. We of Vale, we of Quill, we who bow to Drudia's will. The seeds of summer tide step forth and prepare for the choosing gonna be me isn't it as you know only one may present our tributes to Drudia only one may be chosen for the greatest honor in the veil now as is our custom let the gaze of Drudia fall upon the arbiter Drudia has chosen one of the twins of course it is a glorious day tell us child which one shall be our summertide herald? Uh, different twins? Excuse me, what? Who should I go for? Who should I choose, chat? Let me know. I'm actually interested to see what you all think. My rod has been put away, salute. <laughs> Jacob, the lady. I hope they're not going to light it. I know, right? Y'all have my cats looking at me like I'm crazy. Literally over here laughing out loud. <laughs> Dude, Jacob. Dude, the woman. I got like lady. I got Jacob. I got lady. I got woman. I got man. A guy twin look like Herbert from Family Guy. That's true. That's very true. The hat lady? Should I do that? Hey, I'm seeing more ladies. I'm seeing more ladies than, than, than Jacob or him. We'll choose a lady. Hooray! Very well, sleep into the wood fellow, Harold. 
You leave this life a blessed soul, ready to take our offerings into Opal, where you will feel Drudia's embrace. This sounds actually scary. Ah! Oh my god. Get down from there. This is terrifying. Bathe in her purifying light. Oh, glory to the goddess. They're gone? And they made you choose? I don't believe it. I thought things were going to be all right here, but everything he said was true. What the hell just happened? Hey, Autumn. How you doing, Autumn? Did you get crops or bad craps? What the? F Did you just see what happened, Bill? You have anything to say about that? Hey, Jeffs, how you doing? Hey, Alex, happy new year to you, Alex. Hope everyone's doing good. Hope you're doing well. That's the burning man. <laughs> it's a mech. Your sibling did not take that very well, but you did beautifully. I No, honestly, I did not take that well at all. I'm kind of with my sibling. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Don't assume that I took that well. They will get over it and realize that it is the natural order of things. It, that No, that's not the natural order of things. It is the way of our world. Do not worry about them. Probably just gone somewhere to reflect. Y'all are crazy. What are you talking about, Bill? How are you? I'm very well. Thank you for considering. What's happening? Someone needs to milk the family cow. That's all you had to say about this? Someone needs to milk me after that. My lord. Sorry, that was bad choice of words there animal control for village idiots by barbara woodworm dog gone cat napping pig won't fly sheep actually wooling uh then you need the power of your lips <laughs> just put your lips together blow outwards and whistle you can bring up a list of all your pets and owned okay very well this is like a tutorial on how to whistle for your animals got it so tonight today is actually day 14 right yeah, so at midnight tonight, there's going to be something that happens, right? Pretty sure. What in the world? Let me deliver milk. Can I deliver milk? Oh, I just poured out something. What the heck is in this? What is this? Did I accidentally use the that for something else? <laughs> Hey, we got milk. Okay, so we can at least deliver milk now because I found out that I had a pail on my backpack because I'm an idiot. You know, all the good stuff. Wow. The wicker man. Wow. It's an abduction. I mean, unless she turned into like beautiful rainbow butterflies and I guess that's okay. I don't know. I don't know. There's nothing okay about what just happened there. Hey, Faith, how you doing? Happy New Year to you. I thought that's why Jacob gave you the key, so he could go to the graveyard. Ooh. I don't think... I can't remember. Have we... Maybe we've briefly been to the graveyard, too. I can't remember what it looks like. I mean, obviously, it probably looks like a regular-ass graveyard. But, at least in this game. I actually just watched a Mr. Ballon video on a guy that completely sober ran into the big fire. Big fire at Burning Man. That is bizarre. I saw that too. Ballin or Ballin? Probably Ballin, right? Let's see here. Mr. Ballin? Sounds like a teacher. You just like give someone a, a milk. We'll get money for it. I just want to milk. Give someone the milk, yeah. Let me just give, give you the milk. Milk and cookies, yeah? Completely sober, tripping on 10 hits of LSD. <laughs> hey, Winnie, how you doing, Winnie? Good evening and Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's to you as well. And good evening to you. Hope everyone had a good uh, New Year's. 
Hey, Danielle, what the heck? Danielle says, hi from me and mom. Oh. Okay, now I'm definitely on the spot. Danielle is saying hi, but also the mother-in-law is watching. So now I'm definitely scared. Ash says, great to see you. I'm so glad you came. I discovered a passage in the nature book about a butterfly called... No, 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 no. No, we're not doing that again. Sadly, I do not know exactly where the tree is. No, we've already... No, we've already done that. Not doing that again. You crazy, Ash. We already had a hard time with the freaking butterflies and all that and the silver and the pears and the face tree and this and that and that and this and the time and the freaking dandelion and whatnot. Oh, is it pronounced like ballin? Like ballin? Ballin though? <clears throat> You've been waiting for you to get to this part? <laughs> Autumn says, just stop by to say hi and happy new year before I get back. Before I get, before I go back and watch the first part. Oh, very well. Hope you're doing well, Autumn. Here's your milk, buddy old pal. To somebody we still have yet to uh pappy cow there you go delivered nice this must be pappy right here but yeah this is definitely pappy introduce ourselves to pappy what you want I had enough of them rascals so i moved myself into my own little shed my duty is armpits leave this old beggar alone and give me some peace okay how are you things are tick ticking along yeah all right uh, what's going on? I'm so tired. I can't wait to flop into my own bed. All right. Goodbye, Pappy. Happy cow. All right, so we have at least delivered milk to that strange gentleman. We're kind of, like, burning time until midnight tonight, right? Oh, wait. Today's... Oh, God. We have to go... Yeah, we have to go to the goddess, right? Because today's Sunday, yeah? Yeah, today's Sunday. We got to go to the goddess. We need to make an offering, offering somewhere, right? Absolutely. We gotta do it. Hey, Fraz, how you doing? Happy New Year to you, Fraz. Lizzie says, so I played little lives in the hospital profession and my friends would always ask for me to come to get them night before work. This game is basically, do you like your friends better than your job? <laughs> and it was like the harsh realities <laughs> of, yeah, do you like your friends? Or So um, for the offerings, I'm going to kind of rely on chat here to understand what I should do more. So for people that have played this game before, what is a good sense here? Right, what's a good what's a good thing that I should kind of focus on? Does anybody know? Um, should I, uh, you know, I because I know there's like the left and the rights, right? The left and the rights, and then there's like the ups and the downs here for like the uh, was this the orange bowl, the purple bowl, and the green bowl? Should I always be doing like a certain bowl depending on what it is and whatnot? Or how should I be doing this? Really, I'm not sure. I think last time. We did the, um, I think we did the very berry, right? Yeah, low chance for any collected berry to yield two. We did that, and then we did, I think it was the curse, right? Of the slim pickings, each crop limited to yield in a single item. Can you do blessings on each, you can do a blessing on each single bowl. So three blessings, I think, right? I think it all depends on what you want to get. I find the offerings really confusing because you get good and bad at the same time. Yeah, you do get good and bad at the same time. You do get the uh, blessing, and then you get the curse to go along with it. So you can make three, right? Let me just kind of, like, put that into consideration. Like, to, to fully understand, you can get three, right? I should check to see what I have to offer. <laughs> I think for here, I can actually do strawberries. So I can offer strawberries. So the very berry, right? Low chance for any collective berry to yield two. And then we would have each crop limited to yielding a single item. Then we can go up more and go which one of these. Regain one arrow per room. Uh, monster crit chance decreased. Pet abilities up. Or pets automatically fed and happy. I kind of like that. If we did pet care. Right. Uh, can I do something with that? No, we do not have any items for that one. Okay. 
Then there's the purple one. Uh, free resurrection in combat. Fish spawn rate increased. Chance to regain an item used in combat. And chickens lay an extra egg each day. And then uh, your curse would be misfire more likely. Chance to regain an item used in combat. Children learn and gain XP slower. This one wouldn't be bad. Can we do something here? We can. We can give them a purple apple. And we would get two goddesses from this, or right? two offerings, two blessings, and two curses for this, right? Yeah. We haven't really gone into combat yet in this game, which is also kind of scary to think about. We've been this far in and really haven't done combat yet, which probably is coming very soon anyways as we get to like the later seasons, right? So the list that you can offer is blueberries, strawberries, pear, gooseberries, turnips, and tomatoes. And tomatoes. What is... I don't remember getting this purple apple. I don't even know where that came from. Okay, combat is when you're an adult, and it's not bad. Okay, let's go in and confirm this, I guess. And hope that I do be... I don't know how soon I'll be an adult. This might be actually a waste, now thinking about it. Let's just do the berry. Let's just make that. Yeah, we'll just do the berry for now. Offer that. So, low chance for any collected berry to yield two. Uh, each crop limited to yielding a single item. Why would that be... This seems... Wait a sec. This seems like two curses. That's not beneficial. Is it? No, I guess it is. Because that's a chance if it... It's a low chance for it to have a yield of two. Okay, I see. Yeah, that is, that, that's beneficial. Yeah, that's beneficial. Oh, isn't that purple apple the gassy apple now you might be making sense there it's like child to adult really you know kind of gives me the uh the, you know the fable vibes even to there all right primrose we've made our offering for the week that's nice blood few blood few uh, something we haven't really gotten ourselves into is buying seeds and buying all this and that i was waiting until we became an adult before i really like hammered down on that but I guess it really don't matter, right? Go do it at any time. So maybe we can go to the shop and see what we got going on there. Which goddess did I pick? I picked the uh, the very few one, the very the very few, the uh, Drudia, right? I think. There we go. Do we get it all in this region now? Yeah, this region has uh, now been completed, so we can get the proverb. Gift the rose to star a <laughs> gift the rose to start a date. Take the prompt and don't be late. Take them the prompt and don't be late. I take you the prompt and don't be late. Don't be late to my prompt and accept my rose. If I gave you a rose, would you accept it? And would you accept my prompt? My prompt would be very simple. It would be grab your rod and also cup your cakes. That's my prompt. Accept my rose. This is not the bachelor. Okay. Let's head home. We got to head home because that midnight thing's happening tonight, right? You're lost in the sauce to be honest this game seems low-key overwhelming it does doesn't it to me it does it's a, there's a lot going on i feel like and i feel like every area kind of looks the same too like uh like i don't know the palette makes it seem like it's hard to remember certain places uh just because the palette seems very samey samey roast chocolate and a kiss <laughs> I also just bought the game, so let's see if I can learn quickly. You might be able to learn a lot quicker than me. I, I'm typically like easy to like quickly to learn things, but when it comes to games like this, these games kind of. I try my best. <laughs> That's basically where, it, where it, what it boils down to is I try my best. So, 
We wanted to be out here till midnight, right? That was the letter. That's what we read, right? I'm, I, unless I'm getting that confused too, but today is the day 14, right? It doesn't say anything about a quest though. But I think we, we, we hang out here until the, until the, uh, until the midnight. Yeah, until the midnight, until the midnight, the midnight, a midnight. There we go. Oh, overwhelming? I thought you said underwhelming. No, not underwhelming. This game is definitely not underwhelming. Definitely over could be overwhelming. I guess I should rephrase that. Yeah, not underwhelming. If this game was underwhelming, that would be a big problem. But that's that's exactly the opposite. So much to the game. And I think this game has been in development for like, what, three years? Four years, maybe? Maybe even more than that? Oh, you could sleep, it'll wake you up? Okay, good shout. In that case, let's go to sleep and then have it have it wake us up. I guess we could feed the pets too, right? You know what? Let's actually feed the pig. Because we haven't done that in a half a second. Feed truffles. I'm going to give truffles a carrot. Because pigs like carrots. Right? Absolutely. There we go. 12 a.m.? I guess I could sleep till then. Whoa. What the heck? What in the Peter Cottontail is going on out here? Oh, this is Twig. Twig! Pog! Twiggly Lady! What? The Mr. Fairweather is waiting for thee. Oh, you must be bursting with excitement. Not many get to meet a real proper fae. Now, follow them fairy lights. And I'll dream hop myself to the crossroads and Drudius Cross to the south and meet you there. What? Follow the fairy lights. Okay. That's a lantern. These are the fairies. Oh, he disappeared. That creepy son of a gun. These are fairies. Yo, this is kind of spooky. Can I grab this? <laughs> Give me the dandelion. Oh, God. Are you awake or are you asleep? Well, here's something you'll be oh, wanting to keep. A gift from Mr. Fairweather his himself. It's a really special lantern called the Obscura. And it lets you see things that are normally hidden to those without true sight. Let's just pop that there glass lens of yours in it. Excited. Don't stop now. Keep following the fairies, and I'll see you in the southeast corner of Testy Acres. A dark and light places, obscure. What the heck? What did I just do? They fit perfectly. I wonder where the missing lenses are. Anyways, take that there light and head to the southeast corner of Testy Acres. Very well. Do I need to put that in my um my, my inventory bar? Hang on a sec. I'm out, sir. Oh, it's green. <laughs> it is green. Oh, God. Is it like a UV light going to a hotel or something? Am I going to see things I don't want to see? Do I go this way? I'm going to see the mess the people before me left on the sheets and or pillows and or banister. Okay. The music's spooky, though. 
Follow the fairies. Follow the fairies until you see Twig. We're all just strands in a giant ball of twine, but your wishes will come true deep in the mine. I've got the key for you here. Just follow the fairies all the way to the first mine you come to in Cumble Chalk. Crumble Chalk. Red Mine Key. In Crumble Chalk? Go. <laughs> This is kind of spicy. Ah, there must be crumble chalk. Why, hello, crumble chalk. Good. What do I do in here? This is where you become an adult. <laughs> this is the transform transformation into adulthood, probably. Proverb. Checkered chub. In Vale Rivers, like a twisty lane. Checkered chub, twist the gain. Twist the gain. To the right? To the left? Oh! You know what? Since I'm here. <laughs> I mean, since I'm here. Might as well pick that up. And pick the other one up. Thank you. Alright, very good. Continue. Wait, can I get that mushroom right there? No, okay. I will mine that. Thank you. Creaky sounds. It, it's very quiet. Shh, everybody. Here you are, in the right place, at the right time. No more listening to daft twig rhyme. Now go on and shine the obscure onto the big stones while you stand on the circles. Move the beam around until it opens a door. Mr. Fairweather awaits on the other side, with gifts and treasures you can't imagine. But be careful what you wish for, of course. What? Travel to Brayer? Briar? Brayer? Briar? I know Brayer Rabbit, Brayer Bear, and Brayer Fox. I am familiar with those characters. Dude, it is so bright. Yo, Fairweather, I'm so pleased you could join me again. Now you have seen what true shadows look like. You've seen what a farce the world of humans is, forcing a child to choose a sacrifice. What small-minded, pitiful creatures they are. Now, honestly, I kind of agree. <laughs> we did sacrifice someone, and it was in the hands of a 12-year-old or a 13-year-old, depending on what her age is. I don't, you know, it, weird, right? I, I, so far, you make a good case. But not you. With you begins a lineage that will accomplish wonders, a dynasty that will achieve complete mastery over all things, and all it takes is a seed. <laughs> well, I know about that, trust me. <laughs> the kin seed. Oh, I was thinking something else. Once it flowers, you will be bonded to its magic, and though you may succumb to the irresistible call of the grave, your essence will live on as a guardian of your pr uh, progeny, progeny, and each generation stronger than the last. Your spirit will be stronger than any quill has seen before. But first, you must agree to a contract. A mere formality, I assure you. Oh, my lord. <laughs> oh, yeah! By taking ownership of the Kinseed, you agreed to the stipulations in this contract. The Kinseed will allow you to see and speak with all things Fae and grow your family tree. Your children will carry on your legacy, and as your tree grows, so does your power. Once planted, the contract begins. You may uproot the Kinseed and pass it to any of your children who are of age and join them in spirit, thus continuing to monitor your bloodline. It's kind of cool. In return the, for the Kinseed, you agree that on the day of your 50th birthing day, you willingly give your body to Mr. Fairweather. Every hair who inherits and inherits uh, the Kinseed must do the same. So everybody at 50 years old needs to give their soul, yeah? If you have no heirs to pass the Kinseed to, you will be offered an orphan to take your place. If you die before your time, 
Mr. Fairweather agrees to revive you at the cost of one year of your life. That's kind of spicy. This contract is binding upon signing this paper. The initial cost of the Kinseed is five years of your life now, payable up front. Life tax is payable at the end of each human calendar year. That is awesome, and I will decline it. <laughs> what happens if you decline? Does anybody know what happens if you decline? The game probably ends. I'm kind of tempted, honestly. Do it for science. I decline. Oh, it went to accepted. All right. F me sideways. <laughs> ah, he tricked me. A wondrous magical seed. Splendid. <laughs> then, our then our covenant is in place. Now you must plant the seed on the hill above the house you call home. Its root will be your roots. And it will flower many times, just as your family will. But that is just not my only gift tonight. You have already experienced what dr drudgery and hard work life can bring. And these trinkets can ease your burden. You may choose one of them now. Though you will be able to call upon me in the future if you wish to trade for more. In any case, I will pay you a visit as midnight strikes at the year's end to collect my modest fee for any services rendered. For the next time, my child. That's the creepiest freaking like thing of all time. So wait a sec. The freaking clock. Hello. Uh, glutton's trough or a wooden key. Time to upgrade you from dandelion with this mechanical timepiece. Honestly, seems worth it already. Glutton's trough. Stock it with food to feed your animals automatically with the elegant trough. Also sounds fantastic. Secret Fae Pathways are yours to use with this marvelous mystical key. I mean, which one should I do? Should I do the clockwork? I feel like clockwork might be worth it. I mean, I mean, it would save us trouble, right? It would save me from being confused all the time, kind of, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I love the decline where it's like decline automatically accepted. You get no choice. You get no choice. It feels like you're selling your souls to the Hydra Rabbit. I picked the clock. I was sick of the dandelion. I probably will too. Let's take the clock. Time to upgrade from dandelions with this mechanical timepiece. Life tax. Take five years from us. Five years is due. So would that make us 17, 18 years old? Oh, we were 13. Okay, yeah. So that makes us 18. We are now officially an adult, says the law. <laughs> Look at our face. I love that. He actually got older. Cool. I just got an achievement that just said we've only just begun. Holy shit. Complete the prologue. Yeah, it only took, what, like, eight hours? Oh, my God. Look at me go. Oh, look at him. He's running. Yo, he runs so fast now. Greetings. Sibling, is that... Is that you? I don't believe it. I thought I'd never see you again. Where have you been? What do you mean you don't know? You've been gone five years. You left us. Left me without saying a word. We could have run together. Would run away together, but you just disappeared, just abandoned me. You're not making any sense. I tried looking for you at first, but Uncle Bill made sure I always came back. Didn't want to lose me, too. Uh, then he started getting sick, and I had to stay and look after him. Somebody had to. He passed away, didn't he? Of course he did, right? Yeah, there he is. You believed in us. All we wanted to, all we wanted was to make you proud. Hey, Raul. How you doing, Raul? Perhaps you will both find each other in the woods and run together. I will join you one day. Thank you for everything you did for us. May the waters take you well. 
goddesses bless you. Oh. After that, it was my turn to leave. There's no point sticking around. Only reason I came here today is because it's my birthday. Our birthday. And I thought I don't... I thought... And I thought... I don't want... I don't know what I thought. Wait. And I thought... I don't know what I thought. I never want to see this place again. As far as I'm concerned, you can keep it. What's left of it, at least. Oh, before I go, take this. There's a key to that door we always wanted to look behind. I just couldn't bear to open it. But maybe you should look inside yourself. I'll be in town for a while. Maybe see what's going on at the festival garden these days. You know, if you want to say goodbye before I leave... Oh, and uh, happy birthday, I guess. Find a matching for the cellar key. Happy birthday. What a turn of events. Willow Dawn Farm is now yours. You will be able to raise a family here and use it as your base of operations. For now, though, head to the pond west of your house and on the crest of the hill, plant the kin seed on the spot there. You can also leave the veil if you wish, as you are now of age. So feel free to explore the world. Beyond, better still, uh, you won't... Wait, better still, you won't fall asleep at 11 p.m. Spring is here. Enjoy the rest of your birthday. Plant the seed. Okay. Is that our cat from before? Excuse me, Bella, are you five years old? I have to pet and feed the cat now. Now, assu I'm assuming, since it's been five years, we should have zero quests. They're still asking stuff from me five years later. What is wrong with these people? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> by the way we have a clock though that's sick five years later there's still hey i dropped a rose or i dropped the radish can you find it for me five years later i think we're kind of past that point no oh my god that was loud man the kinsey of course so who are you going to marry? That is a fantastic question. So the seed has been the seed has been planted. Now we need to speak to Pot when we exit our farm. What is it? 8 a.m. Oh, Pot. Well, well met again. Dreaming one. Name is Pot. We call our fun. I asked your questions very deep long ago when you did when you did sleep. Lost your kin. But don't be gloom. A legacy is yet to come. The farm is yours, and I your friend. Glum? Come? Sorry, that was entrapment in itself. The farm is yours, and I your friend. We'll dust the earth and beds to mend. What next for you, I would guess? Dreams of doors, so seek it, yes? Northgate beacons, beckons, and the world outside. Adventures, many, and pigs to ride. Another gift I give to you. Pot by name and nature too. This will gather reputation, so go off you go without hesitation. See the world and fill the jar. Make friends near, do task afar. Slay many beasts, attack parry block. Own many shops and raise your stock. Seek the ones that lay you below, those who sleep from long ago. Then you can, then you can a legend be, then you can legend be, go now and make some history. Reputation earned allows you to collect rep from various sources. Raising friendship tiers, slaying monsters, completing tasks, winning certain events, owning a business, and getting positive customer energy. Running a shop is the most effective way to earn rep. Rep will allow you to unlock perks for your business via the ledger. These perks will help your good store, yeah, help your good store, blacksmith, and apothecary become even more successful and efficient, thus bringing in even more rep and money. View the reputation and renown levels. Select the progress screen icon on or press K. Okay. Make a brownie, brownie offering. Sorry, what? Head out of the veil via the north gate. Lynn says, I just saw it was gifted a membership this morning. Thank you. Yes, there was a lot of generosity this morning for sure. Absolutely. Big shout to Molly and Danielle Smith. And all the people that also give super chats as well. What are these? Are these the fable? <laughs> this is Mother Clucker. Love it. This is also Egbert. That is something up there. What is that? 
There's something sparkling up there. Is this slingshot time? There is something sparkling up there. Can I actually shoot that? Okay. I don't know how to get that thing up there. So I have to head out of the Vale via the North Gate. Now wait a sec, is the North Gate... Yeah, that's the North Gate. Right, this is the North Gate. So, do they want us to go all the way to the top here? To this guy? Herbert Lemon, tragedy and fey dealings. Herbert knows such things. Herbert also knows what you seek. Now you are of age, you can pass the gate and find it. Yes, you can. Seek the circle, the world beyond awaits. With adventure and danger, Herbert wishes you well. If you need to protect yourself, seek Master Yo Yogan in Rivermore. Just beyond this door. Now go, you must. Alright, well. Very well. Rabbit style sounds kiki. <laughs> hey, Chronic Bunny, how you doing? Caitlin, what's going on? Hey, Colin, how you doing? Happy New Year's. This is cool. Okay, that's a little bit of a path right there, like a like rock or a mountain-ish or a hill. Okay, wait a sec. We gotta read the signs, of course. Hey, AKJM, how you doing? What's going on? Homesteads, Poppy Hill, Mellowfield, Simplewood. Homesteads, I guess? Find the monolith? Proverb, ancient cloth. In tough woods, dark and crumbling walls, remnants grab you by the halls. <laughs> Okay. There we go. I don't want anybody to ever grab me by the hall. Okay. The monolith. Rivermore. Ah. We're basically discovering a lot of new stuff here. Glass tier. For fashion's sake, for fashion's sake, um, they often curse. When mid woods, monsters steal their purse. Now, this. Yeah, this looks spicy. Rivermore Summer Down. Who the heck lives in here? Barley. Barley is the root of drinks. I drink too much, so I can't think. <laughs> A witty repostle, repos, repos, repos by Perry Manilow. Not Barry Manilow. No. In guard, alas, touche turtle away. These were terms used by ancients and found in battered and crusty tombs, uh, depicting the noble of art of stabber, stabbertry, stabbertry. The art was also known as Hackathon, Chop Chop, Hag, and Slash. Somewhat bizarrely, fencing. Yes, people used to hit each other with garden dividers and cattle stompers. They become the master of the violent sport. One must really get to the grips with the Harry. Is any good Blade Runner, Bean knows, pressing space just as an enemy is striking will deflect the attack. Oh, okay, so... Basically, counter and parry. Kind of teaching you how to do that, no? Hey, Barry Manilow. Harry Manilow. That's a good reference. <gasps> Look at there's a sheep. Feed peep. Ride peep. I haven't seen a sheep yet in this game. I do wish it wasn't raining. Sideways. Quality goods for sale. Well, hello. Talk with you. Hello, youngster. Have we already met? I'm traveling a trader, trader with a few identical brothers. I sell seeds and such with different items in each haven. I can be found here two days a week. Here, let me add that to your calendar. Oh, thank you. Oh, my lord. Tough skin powder? You got healing cream? Flame cream? A figgies? Very well. In order to get married, you need to have a marriageable NPC reach the love feeling with you. A white rose can only be offered at the beginning of each week. So it's like the white rose, the uh, proposal, then. 
That's just crazy stuff, dude. Oh my lord. Yoga. Or jogging. Ouch. Have you came to batter some beasties? Mash up some monsters. Not in that state, your honor. Not seen you before, and I would feel bad if I was to let you go and wander in the in there and get eaten. Wait, in where? Oh, in here. Is there like some forest or something? I am Jogon. I'm gonna say Jogon. Master of hand-to-hand -hand combat. I can teach you the basics to at least let myself feel slightly less guilty when you don't get chomped on like a meat lollipop. Let me outside the borrow, just over there to the west, and let's get cracking some skulls. Bring a sword. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have a sword. I have a slingshot. But I do not have a sword. I'm gonna have to buy a sword, right? Or make a sword. Probably, right? The rain is kicking hard, isn't it? It is definitely kicking hard right now. Very, very loud rain. However, who is in here? Nobody but Mr. Man Man here. What? I told you to bring a sword. Go get one from Poppy Hill Blacksmiths or wherever. Come on, pull it together. All about the preparation. So, Poppy Hill. Alright, so we can go to Poppy Hill. Now, the sign back there that we looked at earlier said Poppy Hill. We just gotta go see which direction it was telling us to go, and then just go in that direction. <laughs> Poppy Hill, right? Simple wood. Okay, nope, not that sign. It was like a. Oh, look at the, the, the ducks! The ducks! The ducks with the baby ducks and the ducks and the baby ducks and the ducks and the baby ducks and the ducks and the baby ducks. Oh my lord. Look at that. That probably the best thing I've seen in this game yet. Baby ducks with a duck. With a mama duck. Oh my god. Tear my heart out, please. Okay. Proverb. What do fairies find so yummy? A sticky shroom that they can that they call gummy. Alright. Poppy Hill. You have a Poppy Hill? Simple wood? Mellow fields? Harry Mano Manilow for the wind? I know, right? What the heck is that? Ghost Trader. Let's sort the buyers from the spires and those who can see me from the ones who can't. If you can't see value here, you are not shopping. You are shoplifting. <laughs> you see these goods. Never seen daylight. Highlight. Highlight. All the folks of Gaslight. Anyone like jewelry, handmade in summer down, hand stolen in the afterlife. Now then, what can I do for you? I guess trade. You want to buy this bundle of monster parts? The payment is a simple curse. No, no, actually, I don't want any monster parts, but thanks for offering. There we go. There's more babies and baby ducks and mama ducks. I'm a big fan of the baby ducks and mama ducks. I'm kind of just now just really exploring. Not really going in any, like, real direction right now. I'm kind of just enjoying my time. I think this was... Oh, what the heck? heck is this stuff? A Boeing Nancy. Boeing Nancy? Not found in any botany, botany books because it's made up. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm happy with that. Oh my god, you should see Bella. Bella is so freaking cute right now. My god. I'm gonna die and go to heaven with her in a sec. Right, let's just go to the left. Let's go. Let's see what happens if we go to the left. Cunning Plots Mellow Fields. I feel like I'm going to have to, like, walk around this place quite a bit. Rivermore. Discovered a date location. The Golden Fields. Oh, cool. Poppy. Poppy powder taking meat will make you think you have duck's feet. Nice. So I guess the Golden Fields is a date spot. All right. I feel you. Is that pumpkins? <gasps> Big pumpkins? Big pumpkins. Summer and autumn give a toot when they see the whistle root. There we go. Oh, these are wonderful pumpkins. This is sunflowers. Yeah, oil be damned. It's tall. <laughs> and offerings. Wow, this is a wonderful place here. Whose place is this? A windmill. The book. Grinding. 
or how to pad things out by Destiny Craft War. Grinding in ancient time. Destiny Craft War? Grinding? In ancient times, people would play games for... Is this a Destiny grinding reference here? Like you... Oh my god. Like the game? Grinding. In ancient times, people would play games for years on end to gain slightly bigger numbers or slightly better looking pants. They would spend countless hours poring over statistics and drop rates and walk back and forward and back and forward and back and forward doing the same thing just so they could potentially find an item with 0.000007 percent more damage percent more damage in the modern world the only grinding other than teeth is that of a good old miller stone simply bring some wheat to the millstone and interact you can now create lovely fluffy fluffy flour uh, for your baking needs just reading this you can get frothy with excitement at the thought of spending countless hours running back and forwards <laughs> Just in the hot hope that you can make some slightly better quality flour <sighs> Oh, Good job That's so funny That's so funny Ancient min maxers exactly exactly what that was wasn't it? Greetings to you, you fabulous looking. Who are you? Ken Tiller? Hello, my little onion. What brings you to our green and pleasant land? Well, it'd be much more pleasant if his nibs took his ugly turnips and trotted off somewhere else, preferably as far north as possible. How are you? Well, I'm doing well. What's happening today? The traveling tra trader wanders the land, but I still reckon I have been to more places. Okay. Very well. That was such a destiny reference, wasn't it? That's hilarious. What's your name? Your carrot? Oh, well, nice to meet you, carrot. Discovered a homestone, baby. This looks like I love the hedges here. The hedges look great. <gasps> Red dog. I have to see the dog. Your name is Rhubarb? Rhubarb Pie. Yeah. Oh, there's a book in there, too. Frail Goddess of Fields. Maypole. If you ever seen a shining form standing in the fields, a strong fair woman with cornrows in her hair and sunlight in her eyes, then you have caught a glimpse of Frail. Her blessings can usher in bountiful crops and imbue vegetables with vigor and flavor. This please her, though, and you will be harvesting nothing but withered disappointments. The good folk of Mellow Fields know better than to get on the wrong side of the goddess of the fields. They worship Freya above all others and long to hear her laughter rippling through the gently swaying wheat as they complete or compete to grow the biggest, hardiest vegetables in her honor. But that rich laughter stops once the harvest has been brought in. For if there is one thing Freya hates above all else, it is the barren cold of winter. Very well. These houses look great. The saturation right here looks good. What the frick is that, dude? What is that? What massive vegetable is that? Or fruit or thing or... I don't even know. Where am I? Flickerfin. Where fairies dance and door gnomes sit. Flickerfin does flart and flit. What the frick? There is a... Little place there, though. A little mine shaft, possibly. Interesting. Where does this take you? Mellowbrook and Rivermore. We could go to Mellowbrook, I guess. Kind of interested in going in here, though, at the same time. Possibly. Dude, it's 5 p.m. We're gonna, like, pass out. <laughs> we're gonna pass out because we're, like, lost in the sauce here. Oh, Zeke. We got zinc. I don't know what zinc's used for, but we got zinc. I don't want to go too far in this. I don't want to get too lost in the sauce. Oh, frail blessed crops? Okay. Let's go to... What is this? What is this way? This place is... You don't pass out as an adult? Oh, okay. Hello, bro. So if you don't pass out as an adult, can you stay up as long as you want then? And have nothing... Like, no, no, like, no wrongdoings. Oh, God. They just shrek to me. Why, hello. 
The miniature citadel. Introduce yourself. Steve Jackson. Do you see a stranger? Do you say hello politely? Turn to page 27. Ignore them. Turn to page 101. <laughs> oh, I love it. What are those, uh, those adventure books that we read in school? Those books were fun. I like those books. I'd say, I think that's what they called them, right? They called them adventure books or something. How are you? I've been experimenting lately with all sorts of po uh, positions. Positions. Stood up, sat down, on my foot, on one leg. I still can't get my pants off. Anyway, uh, got anything for my uh, virility? Virility? What? Oh, are, do you, are you missing something? What is going on with you? The traveling trader is due tomorrow. The boar is so well toilet trained, although I bet it could fertilize your crops for one year in a go. I think we've heard that one before. Create your own adventure books. Is that what this is? Create your own adventure books? I would like to go in here and create my own adventure with this book. Island of the Citadel of the Death Trap, Hell Doom, Warlock King, Ian Jackstone. You are standing in a large cavern to the north, south, east, and west. There are exits. There always are. Never north, northwest, or south by southeast. A handy table nearby has three objects on it. These are bound to be essential to your quest. There's a crimson fish. Why you would want that is baffling. There's also a key that opens something way off, so I have no clue what it is doing here. Finally, there's a small medallion that says, Do not wear, etched onto it. One of the objects is likely a red herring. One is likely dangerous. Choose carefully, because no doubt you will need one later or have to restart. You hear a low growling from a dark recess... Uh, recess and recess recess and draw your dice because it's that's really going to hurt whatever is about to is this dungeons and dragons this dnd &D? test your skill by rolling 1d6 if it <laughs> if it is lower than your skill rating throw it again until you get what you want nobody is looking the snarling stops and the hidden monster goes back to sleep saving us from having to draw it now put your finger on this page and choose an exit you're not or it is, if you choose wrongfully, the magic finger will return you to this room to pick another more favorable exit. To go north, turn to page 23. To go south, turn to page 23. Don't ask. Uh, turn To go east, turn to page 76. Or to go west, turn by uh, page 114. Now, this is your adventure book. Wear the medallion, turn to page 13, and consider yourself an idiot. Love it. That's awesome. Oh. What do you guys have got going on here? You guys have your own tavern too? Hello. Veg Rarney? Veg Rarney? All right, my little turnip. Nice to meet. Uh, nice to see a new face in these parts. Much better than looking at old onion face across the way. How are you? Doing well. Well, what's happening with you? I bet I could drink anyone under the table. Not literally. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Hello. Molon? Molon? Mulan, like Mulan? I hope you are not here to try to sell anything. We have everything we need. Okay. Mulan, Mulan? Well, hello there. On Livingston? Have any of your fantasies involve fighting? Come across any death traps? You should visit my workshop. It is full of games. Life is one big role-playing game, isn't it? I guess you're not too... Too far off there. You are a hero. Capital of you to become my ally. Capital of you to become my ally in these dark times? Do you want to join in my fantasy? Fighting all manner of monsters? From the forest where doom awaits. To dungeons full of death traps. And swamps full of scorpions. Adventures awaits. On every page. The books of course. I just love these books. Where you choose your own path. Without crossing any legal boundary. <laughs> One minute you could be raiding tombs, and the next in a snowy cavern, having tea with a witch. And by tea, I mean whacking her with a big plus three sword called Witch Bunker. You're fantastic. You're great. You're actually great. Oh, hello. I just love all these new people. Just Mul Molan's, uh, yeah, this is definitely Molan's uh, daughter or something, rather. Goldilon. Love it. You look like a proper Ninok. Ninok, were you dragged through the ugly bush before you were beaten with the ugly stick? Jesus Christ. How are you? I'm okay considering how tough I got. What? How tough I got it? Oh, okay. 
am off shopping, but I bet they don't have what I want in stock. You seem very aggressive. Introduced to you, Cat Turnip. <gasps> Cat Turnip. Hello, not seen you before. I wouldn't bother hanging around these parts. Things have been depressing ever since uh, those lawns took over. Lawns took over. They might seem bad people, maybe? Introduce. Star Sapphire. Ooh. Hey there, I'm Star. I'm not very famous, though I so want to be a bard like my heroine. Lyric. She's the real star. Have a good one. This is an interesting freaking town. Rake Grassbeard. <laughs> good greetings. I am Rake Grassbeard. I'm the guy who can get it for you. Charm weed, rainbow mushrooms. If you are partial, maybe some dragon's bane to celebrate your kids coming of age? Oh, okay. This is your shop. Turnip seeds. Bush medley. Medley? Medley? Bush medley. Pork chop eggs. What else? Fray. Rose of romance. Peggy soup. Flower. Rabbit corn doll. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Hello. Sprouts Onions. Ah, this must be the onions. Greetings, I'm Sprouts, Rake's friend. He runs the goods store and is well known around. Well, I just keep the house tidy. Need anything? Talk to him. He's the man with the flan. I was going to make a few people jump, but my gases seem to be empty. What? What's happening? Don't forget the traveling trader comes tomorrow. I hope he has some good, uh, great goods. I love a treat. I'm going to get that map stone, though, or that house stone, yeah? So, Sprouts, Onions, and Rake, Grassbeard. Are they the ones that, uh, they, they, they live with each other, yeah? Dick Turnip. Oh, that's pretty, uh, pretty just, like, in your face there. What in Frail's Chef do you want? Come to look on the ruins of my life? How are you? Can't complain. Life is like a box of candid squirrels. What's happening? I'm off shopping, but I bet they don't have what I want in stock. He's gonna be a really he's gonna be a real dick turn up, isn't he? Oh, there's a book down here too. And a proverb. <laughs> have a good one, Susie. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us too as well. Do take care, Susie. Ginger is a curious thing. Doesn't mind the cold and hates the spring. The Mellowfield Visitor's Guide by Bri Bilson. Well, butter my cheeks and toast my hairpiece. Were the first words uttered to me when I first stepped into cunning plots. The house there at the time was owned by a Mr. Boggins, and he was not more than five feet tall or ten half feet. Ten or ten half feet. Ah, I see five feet altogether. If you use the old measurements of or 20 toes, if you go even further back to when times and people were simpler. Good day, sir, I called out cheerily. It was obvious he had recognized me. My portrait is sketched onto the back cover of my travel guides. Have you come to our humble haven? He asked, cheeks as red as the cabbage he grew. Why, yes, sir, I have. It was at this point I realized it was wasted a lot of words on the small but worthless uh, antidote. Antidote? Uh, so the sum up, mellow fields, short people, gorgeous gardens, massive turnips, and peacocks. 9 out of 10 would engage in an idle chat, chit chat again. Okay. Longing garden. That's pretty cool. Rose of romance blooms bright all year round, both day and night. I love this. This looks nice. It does. This is a pretty cool looking town. All in all. I really like how it looks here. There's a book there. Should I read it? My lord. Blooming Champion by Doug Gardens. Yes, really. Every year, the people of the Vale hold their annual flower show. In the past, we have had some incredibly talented winners who could forget rosemary beads in her massive hanging baskets. Or the year Buzz Off uh, amazed... Or the year Buzz Off incredible name, amazed us with his scented sunflowers. And who could forget five-time champion Jasmine Teapot and her stunning array of funeral wreaths. So how does one join the pantheon of guardian greats? Presenting five-star flowers is really the only way to win. So utilize those proverbs and eke out every star you can. Failing that, 
just buy some on the hush hush oh <laughs> it's funny mm -hmm. let me grab that charm charm we doesn't like the snow so pick it another time you know Where does this go? Bluefish toasty. Meal deal with it. Oh, nice. So we just learned a recipe. Nice. Cool. We need rainbow Russian mushrooms for the burning man. <laughs> it is 9 p.m., huh? We have to find the monolith, so we should probably kind of, like, do that. I've been lost in the sauce here with, the, with this new, like, town and village and world and everything like that. I will say. This game is big. I feel like it's very big. Very, very big. Stone Crown Mellow Fields. Go this way for the monolith. This is getting a little bit creepy. A little bit dark. Like, I feel like I'm like... I feel like I'm so far away from my house right now. The circle. It's the circle alive. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Four more defying. Rushing Nook discovered a date location. Veal sprouts for your salvation when goddesses have their celebration. Veal location two. Use a lantern. The green one, yeah. Or just use it for light. <laughs> I just use it for light, right? We are in the right location for the monolith, though. There we go. I think I will probably forever use this green lantern, maybe. I don't know. It seems kind of cool. I could use the regular lantern, though. What does this say? Pine Haven in the Shingles. Okay. Pine Haven in the Shingles. Hags tooth. Hags are found in every woods. The sisters like to share their blood. Oh. oh. I thought there was something in the water there. Another map stone. That's two more now. We need to find. I do like the lantern mechanic in this game. It's pretty nice. Let's go up this way. Discovered a rapid point, a, d a date location. What the heck? Another map stone. Ah, the monolith. Within this tomb lay the grand masters of legend, heroes who forged the agreement and who guard the mirror. If you seek judgment of your worth, you must open the door. Only those skilled may enter for consideration. Learn five skills and stand on the stone circle. This will grant you entry only. Judgment will come from the mirror itself. Twig was here. Investigate the strange door. Learn skills. Two out of five. Okay. So basically, we just have to learn a few skills now. Okay. Right. Learn a few skills. Come back. Cor coriander. If your negotiation skills a non-starter, Coriander can help you barter. 
Okay, so that's all on the maps. Wow, look at that. Bling bridge? My lord. It's a broken bridge. If you use a Green Lantern, does it mean you are Ryan, Ryan Reynolds? It's exactly what it means. The Right Stuff by Lauren Biden. During the fairly short war with the Fae, it was looking bad for humanity. They had been stripped of all weapons and a will to fight after nearly destroying themselves again. The Fae ran rampant and mankind was shocked by this new foe. Three people stood forward to try to stem the tables and turn the tide. They were the Healer, the Merchant, and the Right. It was the right who was strongest, a ferocious woman who forged weapons of wonder. Her arms were like a sock full of grapefruits, and she worked tirelessly at her forge. Ultimately, it was for naught. Azora struck her with lightning, which isn't fun if you are carrying a lot of metal. She was <laughs> respected by the Fae, though, and her spirit was given the honor of being a guardian for the door to Opal. Some may call it an honor, at least, but to be internally protected, those who defeated you and not get time off at some meat. Sam, salmon, Samhain, Sam, Samhain, or at least time and a half is a bit dubious if you ask me. Okay, so let's take a look here. So seeking the Grand Masters, we need to learn five skills. So learn any five skills total from any combination of masters. Seek out Twig, Old Mother, Huber, Jogarn, Moon, Mershaw, 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 Marshit and fulfill their request, any skills you already gained will count towards the total. Then return to the circle and stand on the stone pad. So, we want to seek out Twig, which that's going to be hard to do. Old Mother Hubert, I don't remember meeting. Jogon, of course, with the sword. Moon, I don't think we've met Moon. Uh, Marsha, and I don't think we've met Marsha either. So there's a lot of those things. So if we can, learning combat, get a sword. I want to get a sword now. Let's see if we can find our way to a sword. It is 2 a.m., so yeah, I guess no need to ever sleep ever again. Maybe, I don't know. Let's see if we can get ourselves a sword, though. Oh, Mother Hubert is the cooking person we met? Okay. Touch it, touch it, touch it. Thank you. What the heck's going on down there? I lost, I lost my trail. I will say this yellow trail looks so good at the night, in the nighttime. Drown Hill. Okay. I think we've been here, right? Maybe? Can't. Oh no, I guess we have it. Bowie Nancy. Yeah, I don't remember the target practice. What the heck is this? Hey, don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Like, there's everything I love exploring. I think that's why, like... Like, in games, adventure games, RPG games, dude, I'm, like... I'm... I'm exploring it at all. Like, I am definitely... In RPG games, I am definitely getting lost in it. It's a freaking book. I will skip the book. Oh god, I will skip the book. Probably run into that book again. You gotta at least make progress and not just sit here and read poorly the whole time, right? I know. <laughs> Poppy Hill, we've made it to Poppy Hill. Okay, so Poppy Hill should have the person that we're looking for. However, it is like, you know, really late at night. I once got told that these flowers had reproductive organs. Poppycock. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> yeah, everybody's sleeping. On sunny days in pools by flowers, firefish swim and gain their powers. Freaking game, dude. Now, I don't think I can actually uh, talk to people when they're sleeping, right? Yeah. Narrow's, Narrow's, Nair Snail, Nair Snail. What is your name? I just want to talk to this gentleman. What's your name? 
Hannah Hammer. Never mind. Couple books in here too as well. It's almost 6 a.m., so they should be waking up soon then. Yeah, this is the blacksmith probably. This is exactly where we need to be is at the blacksmith. I wonder if you can get like different houses in this game. Can you actually like move into like another village? Like if you wanted to move over here somewhere in this, like this area? A proverb. Oh, it's a recipe. Sky in the pie. Pie in fiber. Rainbow something something. There's another book. <laughs> the poppycock got me there, I will say. Hey, there's the music. Hello, faring well. Good to you. How are you? Finn Crust. Oh, good day to you, a fellow fancier of pie. A cake connoisseur, perhaps a bun bandit. I'm always a bun bandit, baby. You already know about that. Come on now. Uh, keep your hands off my wife's baps. Oh, okay. Sorry. My bad. Uh, I am peckish, said the small chicken to the druid. Get the hell out of my face, Mr. Fincrust. <laughs> the conversation that's going wild. A rosy crust. Oh, fluffy crust, my lover. Welcome to Poppy Hill, home of the greatest pies and pastries known to woman. I, I just keep aching to get bacon. I love to pop your cherry onto one of my cakes. Oh my god, these people are wonderful. These are my type of people. Have a good one. Yeah, you freaking too. You're like facing all your fears. Catnip gives you braver ears. Oh, that's catnip. Okay. These are great people. At least the freaking these people, the crust people are pretty good. I gotta read a book from the crust. Nymphs of Maniacs by Simon Bellbottoms. Can you hear that buzzing sound in the trees as you walk along the edge of Sipplewood? It is like a soft hum. The sound makes you feel dreamy and relaxed. But do not fall asleep and do not enter Sipplewood when you hear it. If you find the temptation to strong to wander in and simple the secret fey fruits and treasures, you may find the source of the sound. I have seen them firsthand, the nymphs. These bizarre creatures are uh, humanoid wasps, and their sting strikes the soul in the body. They love nothing more than drinking from the endless nectars of the woods, but trespass in their eerie is, ire, ire, eerie is turned into swift and painful retribution. Not only that, they seem connected to each other and coordinate their attacks. I survived their assault and lived to write this warning. Be aware of the nymphs and do not drink their nectar. I don't plan on drinking anybody's nectar. Turn off the lantern. I have to go in there. I know there's a book in there also, but I gotta get the proverb at least. Or the recipe. Long bread. Hell yeah. Bag it. Sick. Hey, Nina. How you doing, Nina? Happy New Year to you, Nina. How you doing? Pin crust? Nope. Now, let's go to the blacksmith. They're not open quite yet. Dude, these look so cool. Like, this town with the giant pot. This looks so cool. I love it here. Like I said, I want to, like, I want to live here. And I want to, like, get down with Rosie Crust. <laughs> oh, she's taken. Well, not much longer. There we go. Can we cup the cake? You could definitely cup the cake here in Poppy Hill, I tell you. This is the place where you need to cup the cake. Uh, excuse me, who are you? Ivy Weed? Hi there. You look like the type who knows how to mix pleasure and pleasure. <laughs> Why, thank you. I can mix you something to give you an extra energy and make every sense a rainbow of a dancing starlight. This, the, the, the Great people, honestly. Who are you? Herbie Weed. Hey there, you. If you need any medicinal plants, then I'm your man. Man, our prices may be higher, but being high is not a bad thing, is it? Witty, witty folks. I respect their drip, I will say. Their drip is respected. Is there any more of you? Yeah. Hello. Celia Salt? Oh, hello. It's exciting to see a new face around here. It would be nice to talk sometime. Conversation is thin on the ground in this house. 
octanes. Not as spicy as the as other people. Maybe because they have a kid. Maybe that's why they're not so spicy. Uh, rock salt. Anything you need in particular? I'm a busy man. There's too much uh, javility, javality around these parts, and I have no time for japes and, and or idle banter. Hey, they're not so happy about anything, are they? Roman salt. Okay, that's a crying baby. Okay, those people were not as fun. <laughs> they were not as fun. Wait, what's going on over here? Ah. Poppy Hill Cave we have, right? Copper ore. I'm not going to go too deep into here. I just wanted to grab a couple, I guess. I feel like Brad Sherwood on Who's Line, if you know what I mean. I love Who's, Who's Line is it anyway. I don't really much like the newer one out now, but I do like the older one with Drew Carey. Wayne Brady, baby. These are fantastic people. I got it. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Blacksmith should be open now, right? Kind of. Is everybody else open? I think everybody else is open now. Hello there. Saw buckle. To mead, to brew. A flagon for when you're flagging. My brother and myself own the local pub. You must pop in sometime. Not literally. That would be messy and you don't look like a balloon. My god. The sense of humor on these people are outstanding. Strawberry pie? I don't think I've ever had strawberry pie in my entire life. Kane Hines. Uh, hello, are you a lover of dogs too? I am. I love dogs. I write books too. Perhaps you have read them. They are very useful. Did you know a dog shakes its tail when happy? I sometimes do that too. Okay. <laughs> Rosie Crust. Oh, she runs the shop. You can buy a dog for $100? Hell yeah, dude. I don't want to talk to you yet, Finn. Uh, blacksmith's right here. Yeah. Introduce. Bell Pepper. I'm Bell. You can give me a ring anytime, cutie. I'm like a calendar. I just love dates and prunes. Very well. Daisy Wood. Hello, Dad said I have to be polite to everyone. Treat others how you want to be treated yourself, Dad says. Nears Nail. Oh, I see. Hello there, I'm Nears Nail. It's funny because I work in a blacksmith's where we make nails. I prefer painting nails than making them personally. Yes, a new friend. I love collecting friends like I do nail polish. I bet you think it's strange that I work here and am nothing like a blacksmith. I'm not very good at antidotes, and, but it's a funny story. I told my father that I wanted to work with nails, and he said I should try here. I didn't know it was a blacksmith till I got accepted by Hannah. I meant finger nails. I have a good one. Hannah. Hannah Hammer. How do we make pretty good items in our smithy? So if you want to buy it, if you want to buy out... Nears is your woman. I shape, she ships. Very well. Let's see. How much do you have to offer? No? Uh, no. I don't want to buy that. Buy from her. Yeah. $15 for a tin sword. We can definitely afford that. We can also afford a sword mold if we want to as well. I don't think we have a sword mold. It's a decorative mold. Copper utensils. We will buy that. For tin soldiers, strong versus hobs, knobs and lobs. Yeah, I don't think we have an actual uh, sword um, mold. Yeah. There's the pepper family. I like the pepper family. Yeah, I do, I do. What the frick is going on here? Who are you? Poppy seed. Oh, well, hello, sapling. You look like a person who could show a girl the darkest corners of the forest. We should go to explore them sometime. You bring the wood and I will make the fire. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> well, you are a skill silky voice siren. I wonder if the little caterpillar is trying to dig its way into my garden. Oh my god. 
Keep talking to me. Uh, well, little caterpillar, you have a long tunnel to dig. Oh, stop talking to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah, freaking A, dude. Rose Thorn, welcome, welcome. Spirits and goddesses bless you this day. An incarnation, I whisper in your honor, and my aura warms in your presence. Very spicy. Oh, my Lord. I love these people. Carolina Pe Pepper? Carolina Reaper Pepper, maybe? Oh, please tell me. Not another joker. There comes a time in one's life when the jokes cease to sparkle, when puns lose their luster, and the only thing left is to make vague references. Facts. Harry Buckle. To brew, to mead. Oh, I already talked to this side of the guy. No, didn't I? I did. You seem like a good egg. I grew up on a chicken farm. Every day we had eggs. At least we didn't have to shell out for any. My pops used to say, eggs are great, which wasn't very profound, really, when the chickens ganged up and killed him. <laughs> Mother said we should leave our home and set up a new business in his honor. Instead, we decided to open a tavern in hers. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, look at the person walking a dog. Oh, my Lord. This is a wonderful place. This is a magical place. But I must go find Jagon. Jagon? And do my swords. I'm blushing for you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, how you doing? Pink and friendly. Pink and friendly? What's going on? Oh my god. These are wonderful people. And big heads, too. Something you need. <laughs> well. I don't know. Apparently, my caterpillar is trying to find a garden, and the garden tunnel seems to be a very, very long one. It's like if you threw a hot dog down a hallway, or if you drove a school bus through a tunnel. I don't know which one you want. But other than that, that's that's all I can really uh, really reference here. Okay, so it's in this region. We know where it's in. It's, it's all the way to the west. All the way to the west. Yeah. Hey! Oh! Kitten! My lord, kitten. That was very kind of you. Thank you very much, kitten. Thank you very much for that. That was very kind of you. My lord. That was very sweet of you. Thank you, kitten. I appreciate that. I do. I do appreciate that. Holy crap. Thank you very much. Very sweet of you. Big ups to kitten. Big shout to kitten. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, kid. Happy New Year to you. Kind of interested in this, though. That was very sweet of you. Big ups to you. I hope you had a wonderful New Year, New Year as well, kid. Like, honestly, my New Year was pretty mild. I went over to a friend's house. And, uh, well, we went to dinner first. Then we went over to my friend's house. She then put on Jackbox 3, which was a slider. I was not expecting to play Jackbox la last night. We played Jackbox. And then, like, we had some drinks and that was... That was pretty... It was pretty calm and mild uh, New Year's Eve. And then that was pretty much it. Big ups, kid. Big ups, indeed. Very generous, indeed. Super generous. Have a good one, Ainworth. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. Return to see my wares, child. I have a fine selection from my humble borough. I'm a collector of curious for many places. The price always, as always, is life. Now let us peek inside the sack. Take your time to choose. How much easier could life be with these marvels? This year's offerings are definitely intriguing. Did I come here too premature? Grow a wondrous flower that, when gifted, will reset an opinion of you. Ah. To forget me yet seeds. Snow globe. What an, what an atom's sphere. Create some snow with this charming snow globe. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you for asking, though. Okay, let's go to what we need to do with the sword. Which, by the way, we should probably put that in our, uh, yes, 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 yeah, okay, 
Can we not put that in our hot bar? Oh, okay. I see. All right. Let's try. To, it's got like so foggy now. It's hard to see where the hell I'm going, but we're going. I think more to the west. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in the box to the left ish. Yes. <laughs> in the closet. That's my stuff. Something, something. Please don't touch. <laughs> Can't see. It's here. It's definitely here. But my lord. It had to be the worst time for like the fog to roll in. Up here. Ah, is that it? Is this it? This is it! Hooray! Ready to learn the fine art of clobbering? Now let's get cracking some ribs. Oh my lord. Right, let's crack it. Let's get cracking. I like how he says let's get cracking. With the knacking. Oh, okay. As you see, you have your three positions. You can move to each move. You can move. Wait. You have three. You have th you have your three positions. You can move to each move. Wait. You can move to. Oh. Wow. Wow. Breathe. Actually, hang on a sec. Let's breathe. Let's try that again. I'll get there eventually. Trust me. Right. Let's get cracking with the knacking. As you see, you have your three positions. You can move to each move uh, depletes your stamina. A tad combat is all about stamina your stamina is shown below your feet by moving up and down with the left stick or ws keys ah i see the combat's a little different in, in this game is it interesting great use that to dodge in incoming attacks now Clobberin, see those dubbies? Uh, either click on one of your cursor or use, okay. Corresponding enemy positions. You can't directly attack the support at the back. You need to remove all the other enemies first to bring them forward in range of your sword. I whack a few dummies, but watch your stamina. Each hit costs one section of stamina. And remember this, you can only attack along your lane or diagonally adjacent. So for, um, from the middle position, you can attack top and bottom. If at the top or bottom, you can only reach the middle position of the lane you're on. Sick. Double sick. Triple sick. Nicely done. Now let's add some obstacles. Enemies can place down things on what they call nodes to hurt or hinder you. These are the positions halfway between, which are these, right? You and the monsters, some you can smash, but others you can evade by attacking diagonally by smashing these dummies. Okay. Okay. Just like that. This is actually kind of cool. I like the combat so far. Nice! You can also use items too. Press B. Click on the target to use them. Okay. Uh, whoops, I should have probably read that. Is it E or B? Is it E for us? E. Ah, tough skin powder. Tough skin powder. On us. Right? B jars. Stink bombs. B jar? Put on him? <laughs> yeah! Stink bomb? I guess goes, you can put it, oh, that's a middle piece there. I see, okay, okay. That's the way, eh? Now, uh, let's teach you some defense. You can block attacks with the left trigger or space. Meet the Bob, meet Bob the Hob. He's really well trained and won't hurt you, but try to block his attacks. You can see when he will be able to do an action by the little bar under his health bar. Oh, okay. I, I got you. That's the stuff. However, if a monster has higher strength than your toughness, they will chip damage uh, through your block. So either toughen up or be careful and watch your health. 
at the top left. Some items can heal you a tad, and in the forest are campfires you can use to heal up too. That's the basics done. I can teach you about timing uh, your hits so you can do extra ones in an amazing combo, but uh, you can learn that yourself. Now, let's test you against Bob, Grob, and Timothy. If you can't get me a tooth from one of them, I'll teach you a trick, okay? Not even gonna mess around. Probably the greatest of all time. Okay, not that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Oh. Oh god, oh god. Okay, okay. It, this is this is this is actually kind of cool though. The the combat can definitely be, poss oh god, possibly a little confusing for some. Maybe not confusing, but maybe a lot. Oh god, maybe a lot. Gotta have quick reaction, I think. But it's actually kind of cool. There we go. There we go. And yeah, we're low on stamina. Dead. All right, there we go. Woo! Pretty cool. Tooth. Hob. Continue. What if you can do range attacks? A knockout. You knocked his tooth right out. As promised, here's a trick that uh, will save your skin. Should you be good enough to pull it off under pressure? It's called parry. Oh, yes. All you do is time your block as the enemy is swinging at you. If you do it right, then they will be stunned and mow and you won't lose stamina and can counter quickly. Parrying can also knock back projectiles, so if someone chucks something at you, point it back at them. You can try that out yourself if you, when you're fighting. Learn to read the baddies attack tells. Good luck out there. Come see me at my ma house in Rivermore if you want to learn more skills. My god, that was so hard to read. Learning combat. Nice. So that's a skill, right? Yeah, so three out of five. And I guess we just have to meet him at his mom's house in order to uh, to, to continue on, right? That was pretty good, though. No? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Mm -mm -mm. Question, does anybody know how to do membership on iPad? I don't think you can actually do memberships on iPad. Uh, Apple products, iPhones, and iPads, I don't think you can. Samsung's PCs, I think you can, but not uh, not Apple products. Not yet, at least. They haven't put that in yet. Is that what it is? So British? Yeah, the combat's different. It's kind of cool, right? I feel like it is. For sure. Absolutely. Oh, is this your mom's house? Sorry. Let's go, let's go. Uh, unless you're in a browser, you could do the iPad off of like Safari or something, I think, too, as well. Learning range combat. Held to the F. Find the moon archer. Oh, there's going to be so much more we can do in this game, isn't there? That's going to be sick. It's going to be real sick. AKJM, thank you very much for the membership. Thank you for re-upping the membership. I appreciate that, AK. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a happy new year as well. Yeah, I really do. Hope you have a happy, or had a happy new year. You know what? One thing I will say about this new year. I did not see a single firework. <laughs> Usually you see fireworks and stuff. I didn't see any fireworks this year. Kind of strange. Yeah, kind of strange indeed. Ooh. Now I, oh, now, I don't know where Moon is at. Moon. Reminds me of, like, the scene in RV with uh, Robin Williams. He's like, Moon. Sounds like a hippie name. Moon. Long. Rainbow. Moon. Let's go this way. Probably, again, my favorite place is this poppy freaking village. The people here are just... My type of people. Again, I, I doubt you, you you probably can't like move your family 
here or anything like that. So that, that you know, that kind of hurts a bit, but if I could, I definitely would have mingled with these people for sure. For sure, for sure. Oops. Ah, range. This must be moon. Oh, Moon, ah, the seedling, an honor to have you visit my quiet little corner. Welcome to Hunter's Bluff. My name is Moon, and I am the master of archery. I have looked into the mirror and received the blessing of the goddesses. Now I am here to teach you those willing to learn the grace of the hunter. I need to estimate your skills before I can give you the tool you need to pierce the hearts of your prey. If you can hit the target on the island to the east of this region, you can learn, or you can return to me and claim your prize. May your inner eye guide you. Not my whispering eye, but my inner eye. So I have to go to my east? Hit the pawn target? To my east? That one. I do that with a slingshot, yeah? Hey! I did it. What do you think about that? You didn't see me either, but you heard him. Ah, you hit that target. One day your arrows will sing through the air like a chorus. Every archer needs a bow. So here is yours, as promised. Meet me in the barrow down the slope to the west of the d downhill, and I will show you just how your bow can help uh, open up your strategical options in combat. Send enemies all a quiver. Oh, that's awesome. The down to the west now? Do a little bit of that action. Charm weed. Give me some of that. Hit me with that. Frank Zappa daughter is named Moon Unit Zappa. Wait, what? Really? Aloe Vera? <laughs> Aloe vera, show us your gr your gown in the fields of summer down. Oh, these trees look awesome. Wait a sec. Meet Moon in the Barrow. It's in this region, right? Yeah, it's in this region. Is this the Barrow? Yeah. Ah, here you are. Let us verse you um, in the way of the hunter. In combat, your bow is mainly used to disrupt your enemies. Arrows can break and block instantly. Disrupt enemy attacks and remove their stamina. Draw your bow by holding right trigger and use the stick to select or use right mouse button to hover over your uh, target. Release the fire. You could try a quick and draw and fire, but make sure you your accuracy stats are good. Okay. I have some targets for you to hit. Six arrows. Okay. Oh, that's kind of sick. That's kind of cool. Your potential glimmers like stars. With use, your bow will become more powerful. A mastered bow is a deadly weapon indeed. But that is all you need. To know for now, return to me at my tent if you wish to learn skills. That will help you become a nightmare for your foes. Farewell for now. So simple. Very simple. Learning range combat. Very simple. Cool. Cool. What the frick are these little hedgehogs, dude? Oh, isn't, like, Groundhog, like, soon? <laughs> Aren't we having Groundhog very soon? What day is Groundhog Day? Is that, like, something? I don't know. What is this? You need a knob eye? Okay. Don't lose stamina while aiming. Okay. Nice. So, that's done. Old Mother Hubert... That's something we can look into possibly. Twig, I you know, where do we find Twig? Jogon's done, Moon's done, Marsh. I don't know where Marsh Marshtit is. Yeah, I don't know where Marshtit is. Anybody know where Marshtit is? Oh, is it February twenty? Is it February second? February 2nd. I thought it was like the first week of January or something. Every day is Groundhog Day. 
Bill Murray? Your brother's birthday too? Ancient cloth will give evil the finger, but laziness around you linger. Pick a pike pie. Contains traces of bullseyes. Sick. Oh, Twig is at the fishing spot back at the farm. Okay, so we that that's a that's a skill we've probably learned then, right? Fishing. So fishing we don't have to worry about. Mm, the cooking we might have to worry about. Mother Hubert, right? And um the one that starts with an M. What's the name? Martian. Right? Now, we haven't traveled before. We can travel if we want to, right? Can we travel? We haven't traveled before. Wow, look at this map. My lord. Oh my god. This is incredible. This map is massive. This is kind of cool. Yester is where uh, Mother Huber lives. Yester? I seen Yester. Is that like, hang on a sec. Yester? You said Yester? Where the heck is Yester at? Is that somewhere we haven't discovered yet? Love this area, Poppy Hill. Nadia's Gloria. Wow, there's so many other places and probably there's so many m more people to meet. Oh, and the Candle Witch. Oh, okay. We're, night we're right next to there, but I think everybody's sleeping right now, right? Yeah, I think so. It is 10 p.m. Whoa. I don't remember these trees being here. The cow's still here. The pig's still here, even after five years. There's that. Also have a couple of letter annual events. Births. Greg Brown was born to Arthur Brown and Teresa Brown. Wow, they actually tell you when NPCs have like children too. It's one thing where like you can, you know, have your family, create your own family, build your family, and then once you die, you you play as your children, right? You continue your dynasty. That's already Crazy enough. Rotten apples. Nice. Oh, is this the little thing that she was talking about that we haven't been into? Ooh. 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 So much, so much, so much. What is this? 50 bronze. Uncle Bill's letter. You are reading this, then you have returned, and I am gone back into the cycle of nature. I prayed to the goddesses every day for your safe return. Your sibling looked after the farm well, but I could sense I was holding them back. Your strange friend, Twig, told me you would return, but could not tell me where you had gone. That gave me hope you would come home. If you are reading this, then know that I am very proud of you. I just have a feeling you will become an extraordinary person one day. I actually used to dream you owned a business. Many, in fact. How would I love how I would love uh, those dreams to be a reality? It would be a great success, I am certain. Perhaps we will meet again one day as I run around your garden or flutter past your window at night, looking for the light. With love, William Stone. Aw. Tin ward. Hobnob lob damage reduced. Is that like armor? What the heck is that? Anything over here? This is pretty cool. Witch Witch by Bella Best Chat. Ah, uh, yes, by Bella Best Chat. You hear that, Bella? Hey, you have the best chat on YouTube. I promise you. Need help sorting which which is which? Our informative guide will help you identify the hags from the hag knots. Each month, our magazine will tell you all the secrets you need to know about our favorite cackling crones. 
from the bitter forest hags of Simplewood and their spiked vines to the deadly and violet water hags of Midwood, slashing folks from their dark puddles. Each month, we will detail these dangerous uh, denizens with full-color illustrations. Part 1 comes with a miniature night hag, complete with a swingable lantern and authentic hair. Part 2 will cost 15 times what you paid for the first because we've got you by the cream crackers. <laughs> Part 3 will likely never appear, so you will never be able to collect the set available to all good news pigeons. <sighs> I'm so glad somebody has me by the cream cracker. They're either got me by the cream cracker or they got me by the chicken in a biscuit. Which one do you want? Huh? Hey, which one? The cream cracker or the chicken in a biscuit? You tell me. You tell me. You choose. <laughs> we'll go to bed till 6 a.m. We'll go to bed to 6 a.m. And we will save. And that is where we will stop today's stream because it is a three hour mark. We'll stop today's stream and uh, let everybody catch up that hasn't been able to catch up quite yet and didn't get to watch the live stream today. They got three hours of content they got to go through and, you know, watch and all that and let them catch up and whatnot. But it's been a pleasure and honor to be with you today. I really, really enjoyed today's stream. This was really fun. Like this game a lot. The the words, the the, the stories, the language, the, the everything in this game is just really fun. And uh, I, I can't wait to play more. If you want to see more, of course, please make sure to hit the like button. Um, there is not a scheduled stream, but I probably will be streaming again this evening. Because I'm going to be testing some things. I'm going to be trying out streaming in the evening time. Now that it's a new year, new me. I don't know what the heck to say. But I'm going to be probably maybe streaming in the evening time uh, here in the next hour or two as well. So might be able to catch another hour. I do see that most of the streams I do in the morning times and then the afternoon times, they, they, they are tailored to the uh, European uh, evening times. So maybe I can get some, uh, you know, North America action going on in the evening times as well. But it's been a pleasure and honor being with you today. Big shout out to a lot of people today. Big shout out to a lot of people. First things first, shout out to Lady Okami for becoming a member this morning. I really do appreciate that. And thank you, Grey Wing, for becoming a member of the of the channel this morning too as well make sure if you got a membership today or you be became a member go check out the membership videos for sure molly joe snow thank you for the 10 gifted membership that was very very kind super big and danielle smith super big for you as well very very big danielle smith for the gifted 20 members that's 30 new that's 30 gifted members today so if you got a membership today uh, use it use it go watch some videos and streams and whatnot and uh, all that good stuff big shout to darren thank you for the super chat thank you lizzie for the super chat and molly joe for another big super chat appreciate that and kitten with the massive super chat thank you very much kitten for the massive super chat and thank you all for just a really good time and a happy new year and thank you all for and really thank you also for the um for the kind words uh in today's video or the video i posted today uh you know thank you all for all the great comments and everything like that i really enjoyed reading through all of them and it was great to see and I might have scared a few people, but it was good. It was good. But I might most likely probably will be uh, back on stream here in the next hour or two. And uh, we'll be doing maybe an evening stream and see how that goes uh, and see how that all is. Don't know what game yet. It's going to be a surprise. Other than that, thank you all for hanging out with me today. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day, evening, morning, wherever you may be. I will see you all very, very soon in the next stream, next video, wherever that may be. It was always... Take care.